think Usopp might be my favorite character. Okay, all right. Hello, everybody. Hello. A couple minutes uh, late, but, uh, but here we're we are. here. We and are here. Here is this. Watashi Boom. ga kita. Volume 4. Oh, boy. One the piece. One the piece, yes. With Captain Kuro. And One of the evil schemes. coolest freaking just... <laughs> One of the like I'm so characters in like, this in this freaking oh, yeah. manga so oh, yeah. far. He's he's super cool. And it's also one of those things where I'm sad that he's a bad guy because I really liked the idea of the the complications and conflict sure. given his position and what he had to do and you know and all that stuff. Uh -huh. But no, he's a bad guy, and he's a very cool bad guy. Indeed, indeed. But oh, boy. Yes, yes. New lighting, oh indeed. Oh, yeah. my God. We got a lot of people. Their new follows here. The Kill Switch 20. Capitan S31. Uh, Leon is cool, 69. Bria Rose, 5. Z Howard, 2547. Cheyenne West. Thank you all so much for the follows. And we have some yes. new subs. Dango Bro with the Twitch Prime. Hey, it feels Jacob, man. Yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> uh, Super Smexy Santa Alter with the Twitch Prime for the fourth month. A hey. and Mona Man One with the 500 bits. Yeah, if this volume finishes the arc, I have a long comment to post. All right, cool, cool. Star Platinum Await with the Twitch Prime as well for the ninth month. Uh, so excited for today's run of the greatest manga of all time. Totally unarguable. You are not entitled to your own opinion. <laughs> Salo goes with the 100 bits. Okay, welcome to volume four. Two traditions start in this volume. Firstly, in the volume, we have SBS pages for the first time. Ah. Oda answers reader questions in them. Please read them. Some are stupid, but some are important lore. Some are pretty funny. For the second... Well, you'll see. Okay. Okay, hey. thank you for the info. And a cap 22 with the Twitch Prime as well. So many new subs. What the heck? Yeah. It's a cool way to start off the stream. All SBS. Right. Okay, ever the SBS hype in chat. Looks looks pretty cool. SOS Bros, the icy version. See, Ooh. here's the thing, actually. Like, we are still trying to figure out the lighting. It's, it's pretty fun with having, like, nice LEDs and stuff. But now yeah. we have a heating issue. Right. Because it's summer... We have new lights, and even and though they're LEDs, hot. the bulbs are much bigger. They're 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 thick, thick lights. If yeah. you know what I'm saying. Like, so we are going to be taking multiple pauses to do water drinking. To mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> just let our shirts, shirts off. breathe. You know, Ugh. as you do when it gets into that. Ugh. You know, well, yeah, LEDs don't get warm, but. We think it's just because these are so much bigger. Although it could also just be that we're getting into summer. Um, yeah, it's it's yeah. a combination of the fact that we're in summer, um, and uh, yeah, we we are in the hottest point of summer, and then the lights at least make it feel like it's yeah it's warmer. Maybe if anything, it encloses our environment a little bit more. But here's actually a quick question I could ask you guys because this this could solve a little bit of our heating situation is if we turned up the fan behind us which i'm not sure if you guys can hear that or not you probably shouldn't be able to hear it much yeah, it's on all. really low right now if we turn it up that might help us a little bit but it might distract you guys do we want to give that a shot what do you what do you guys think there's a twitch hydration bot that gives you regular drinking warnings maybe look into that wow. yeah we we have a lot of bots that uh we could uh we could uh, definitely add here. Ryan H with the Twitch Prime for the tenth month. Oh my God, Ryan H. Boop. Double digits. Hey. Hey, Ryan. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, you know the way to our hearts. With boop. Uh, try it out. Try it out. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll try. I'll try it out real quick. Caleb, don't break the illusion that the, the illusion. background chan isn't a wall. Oh I, no. I, I just teleported behind the wall. Nothing mm -hmm. personal. Yeah, see, there's actually a door over there, and he's going into a separate room, because background chan is totally a wall. It's totally a wall. Yep, mm-hmm. Yeah, there's, there's, there's no uh, semblance of sanity to the way this room it's is It's a structured. jiggly wall, that's right. That's one way to think about the light bulbs. So, in anime, you know, you have the flat-chested girls, right? Now, the thing is, is that that's basically what the oh, lights were before. whatever he's going to say here. Right? Because because the bulbs, they were much, much smaller. Now, now they weren't LEDs, so they did still give off a lot of heat. You know, kind of like the, you know, the, the short ones that have the big tempers, right? Um, 
But now, now we've got uh, big Onisan uh, <laughs> thick, thick bulbs now. So, yeah, we're getting a little hot and bothered. Oh my! In, in the here. presence of uh, mm -hmm. such, uh, <laughs> exactly. Yep. Such beauty. We are, we are hot and bothered. <laughs> we're also very thirsty. Oh my God! Are we thirsty? Uh, I exchange milk gallon milk cartons. Onesan, to, Onesan, uh, not Onesan. Onesan, <clears throat> Onesan. There you go. Yeah, I, Caleb I know. Is I blue know my weed. confirmed. Okay. <sighs> Teleports behind the wall. Nothing personal. Sanity. <laughs> yes, exactly. All right. Okay. Hey, weird kid. First time seeing One Piece reaction live. Always working. Hey, well, cool. Glad you could make it. Day off work or what have you. I will never acknowledge the background. It's a wall. <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10 analogy, Jacob. Uh, all right. Ara, ara. Oh, boy. Oh. oh, oh. <laughs> but uh, let's, uh, let's jump into this. But before we do that, since I am now the yeah. the, mm -hmm. the uh the head for a specific character right and this hat totally doesn't fit because mm -hmm. uh i am mr thick big brain five head massive mm -hmm. massive head chin should i make it dorky like this or should i wear it like this I feel like that way is like true hillbilly kind of look. This you know? looks like I'm a grandma, basically. Caleb the farmer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> eh. I could do this. This basically looks like it's basically floating on top of my head. Yeah. Oh boy. Well, thankfully the elastic band that like holds it. Oh, on you your know. back. Oh, there you go. There we go. Now you look like you're ready to cast Eldritch Blast. <laughs> I'm like talking to the hat. Choke me, daddy. <laughs> it's little string thing here is like literally like <sighs> pulling up against my is neck. It actually, is it actually? Oh, it's taut. It's taut. Oh, ah, yeah. hey, hey, don't, don't, don't do that. Super sexy Santa altar with the 100 bits. Been a while. Had to stop modding the Berserk streams as I joined a D and D game that runs the exact Ooh. time these streams do. My DM canceled this week's session, so that's why I'm here. Okay, glad you could make it. I've seen about the first 100 episodes of One Piece, so if I see any spoilers, I delete them. But I might not catch them if they're from the past where I saw. Also, first uh. time cheering, like the third time I tried sending this. <laughs> I had that same problem <laughs> totally in another stream that I was watching, and I was like, "For sure, Damn it, for sure." How does this actually work? <laughs> <laughs> I love where it says moderator just added permitted term choke me daddy. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Oh boy. Actually, that's actually a really good point. There are a couple people I don't know. Oh no, that should be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. All right. This, this is, is fine. fine. This is yeah. fine. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. So, volume four. Of One Piece. One Piece. Also, we didn't ask, uh, how does the fan sound to you guys? Oh, yeah. You're quiet so that the fan can... Don't hear it. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Okay. All right. Nice, nice, awesome. sweet. That helps a lot. So there there we go. Let's, uh, let's, get, let's just jump right into this. I have a dream. Someday I really want to doodle on a dog. Can I draw on whiskers? Can I make him look like a panda? I asked, I've asked many times to draw on the pets of my friends, but nobody ever lets me. Get your own dog to draw on, they say. Are they crazy? I wouldn't want a weird looking dog like that. I mean, that makes you, sense. You be you, Oda. All right. So we're getting into volume four here. And speaking of which, it looks like there's going to be a panda dog thing in this volume the and black penguins cat or pirates something? or something yeah all right all right we've got our characters monkey d luffy rora noah zoro red-haired shanks kaya nami usopp, usopp. captain kuro Django. <laughs> i'm not ready to voice act Django again <laughs> And then carrot, pepper, and onion. <laughs> That's right. Because, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. So, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, I have onion and carrot, and you have pepper. That's right. Right. Okay. Give him some pepper. Yeah. Yeah. All right, give him some pepper. 
I can dig that. All right, volume four, chapter 27, True Lies. Mm. True Lies. Sounds like a name of a TV show. It does, doesn't it? Pretty little True Lies, yes. <laughs> ah, this is the butler that I was doing, or this is yes. the one that you were doing? You were doing this person. This I can't the, remember the voice the, you did for him. What did I do the voice for the goat butler? Like, what is Miss Kaya? I think it was something Probably like that. Probably something like that. Miss Kaya, I picked up the special order you requested from the eyeglass shop in the next town. Is this satisfactory? Thank, uh, perfect. Thank you, Mary. Ching! <laughs> I'm sorry you had to go so far. It is my pleasure to serve you, Miss Kaya. It is a, it's a gift, isn't it? Kalahador will be elated. I hope so. Tomorrow it will be exactly three years since Kalador first came to this estate. He's been such a great help. <laughs> this is Usopp, yeah. All right, all right. So, so remember, mm -hmm. yeah, Usopp, no, 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 I got Usopp was Joey Wheeler, but no, no, with the gangster. No, 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 no. I, I, went, I went back and looked at oh, the old did? Yeah. Oh, you oh. did? Now, doing it at a loud volume will be a little bit interesting, but... Oh, <laughs> okay. you're voicing me, you know. Can't... Can't do it under pressure. Okay. Channel, channel. Okay. It's, it's, it's mm -hmm. good. It is good. Everyone, listen to me. The pirates are coming tomorrow at dawn. The pirates are going to attack. If we believed you, every time you cried pirates, we'd be fleeing to the hills every day. <laughs> but this time it's true. And, and this, this time, oh, you can. Do and this time we're really going to clobber you. Yay! Yeah. Get him. He's fast. <laughs> <laughs> I just jumped in the water. <laughs> or wait, no, that's just the waves. So wait, wait, wait. So I'm doing, so, I'm doing the left one and the, and the right, right one. one. Pepper right. is the well, the one with the black hair. Yeah. yeah. What? Miss Kaya is going to be killed. Really, Mister Straw Hat Man? Pirates are really going to attack the village? <laughs> I think this is you, Zoro. Uh, no, I think that's Luffy. It's oh, right there. yep. That's what they said. No doubt about it. Kind of an odd place to take a nap, isn't it? It's strange. I thought I was on top of the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> so that butler is really is a bad guy. I never did like him. And the hypnotist is on it. Is in on it too. <laughs> <laughs> we keep upping. <laughs> or <laughs> oh boy. So what was? So what was your cap? Yeah. So that's what your captain was doing. That's why he was running towards the village like his pants were on fire. It'll be all right. The villagers have plenty of warning. They can just hide out in the hills. Pirates are generally pretty dumb. <laughs> hey, maybe we should go hide too. Yeah, and we'd better take all our valuables. Piggy bank, snacks, model ship, what else? <laughs> Hurry! <laughs> oh no! What's wrong? I've got to go buy some meat! Oh, I've got to go buy some meat! Ah! Before the butcher leaves town! <laughs> Priorities. That wow. sounds like, uh, yeah. know, like, like, uh, like Saitama, you know? It's I mean, just like, I oh no, the sale! That. The meat yeah. sale! <laughs> what are we gonna do? <laughs> oh yeah, you. <laughs> Usopp, I'm so glad to see you. I was afraid you'd never come back. You've got to get out of here, Kaya. Your life is in danger. What are you talking about? You've been tricked. Your, your butler is really a pirate. What? Klahador? A pirate? Is this a joke? It's no joke, Kaya. I heard him with my own ears. He was at the beach, going over the plan with his henchmen. He said he tricked his way into your service to get his hands on your fortune. He's a pirate captain. He's been posing as a butler here for three years just to rob you. Usopp, what are you saying? His pirate crew is going to attack tomorrow at dawn. He said they're going to kill you. <laughs> Aww. He's a dastardly villain. You've got to get out of here fast. Please stop this. You disappoint me, Usopp. What? Hey, do you hear voices in the courtyard? Hey, it's the liar. You snuck onto the, est onto the estate again. You'd actually use me to get back at Clahador like this? Huh? What he said about your father. Clahador admitted that he went too far. He should never have said those things. 
But I won't listen to you tell lies about him. I never believed you would sink so low. Your stories were always filled with romantic and unbelievable things, but they were so much fun. I loved your lies. Why did you have to tell a lie like that? It's despicable, Usopp. K Kaya, no. How could you? K Kaya, wait. I'm not trying to get back at anyone. Aw. Miss... Uh, I think this is the, uh... Miss Kaya, has he harmed you? <laughs> Don't worry. We'll toss this rat out. Stop. Let me go. I'm not done talking yet. Curse you. Let me go. Urgh. He bit his arm. Yeah. <laughs> Dirty brat. And stop. I'm not going to let you stop me. This <laughs> animal. Spoing. Yep. Usopp, please stop. <laughs> He's down both the guards! <laughs> Kaya, Kaya, you gotta believe me. You have to get out of the village before your butler comes back. What's wrong with you? You're acting so strange. Or so strangely. There he is. Oh, there's Usopp. He snuck onto the estate. Uh oh, the villagers. I've got no choice. I'll have to use force. Ah! Oh, man. Usopp, no! Let me go! You'll find out the truth tomorrow. For now, I've got to get you stay away from here. You've got to believe me. And smash. <laughs> oh, the rejection. You won't get away this time, Usopp. I just love the butler in the background with <gasps> the goat head. Just, oh, yeah. <laughs> just, oh, as in surprise. Kaya's voice is different. Oh, okay, did I? Kaya has an accent now. It's nice. Oh, okay, okay. I think I had a much simpler voice for her before. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, next page. It's you, Usopp. You're the dastardly villain. Ruffian, get away from Miss Kaya. C click. Wait, oh, he just oh. wanted a gun. Yeah. <laughs> oh. No. Boom. Stop, you'll hit him. But Miss Kaya, he was. Usopp's getting away. Stop, blast you. Uh, my left arm. Why would anyone believe me? There he is! Get him! He's a violent criminal! <laughs> violent? You've stooped to violence, Usopp! And... Whew, she passed out. Miss Kaya! Get a hold of yourself! Oh boy. Wow, so dramatic! Yeah. That was sad! Like, he was just... He yep. was just trying to save yep. her! And, and he has no way of communicating this to her because... <laughs> oh... Yeah. Alright. Tomorrow morning, attack the village at dawn. What did you do? Uh, I think I did Kuro, or did you do Kuro? Uh, I did Kuro. You did Kuro, so that's Kuro. Tomorrow morning, attack the village at dawn. <laughs> hey, Captain! <laughs> hey, you guys. <gasps> You're alive? Alive? Yeah, I must have dozed off. He? Oh, that's you. Yeah. He took a long nap. Captain, we heard what's going on. We've got to hurry and warn everyone about the ra about the pirates. Warn everyone. You're the one who's a dastardly villain. You've stooped. Stoop. Oh, yeah. You've stooped to violence, Usopp. <laughs> oh. I, I just made it all up as usual. You got so mad at that butler. I made up a lie about him being a pirate. Huh? What? It's a lie. Shucks, I thought something exciting was going to happen. The captain even fooled the straw hat guy. <laughs> huh? I can't believe the captain would do that. Yeah, me neither. Or me. I don't like that butler, but I never thought the captain would lie to hurt someone. Let's go home. Yeah, it's dinner time. Wonder what we're having. Huh? It's because I'm a liar. No one will believe me. I should have known. But the facts are still the facts. Pirates really are coming, aren't they? 
Oh wait, nope. That's that's someone. Nami. Oh yeah. But the facts are still the facts. Pirates really are coming, aren't they? They're coming, all right. But no one will believe me. They all think tomorrow will just be another peaceful day. Yeah. So Ooh. it's up to me to meet those pirates and fight them off. Then I'll have a real tall tale to tell. I may be a liar, but this time my tale will come true. All right. They can shoot me in the arm, and they can chase me with brooms, but this village is my home. I love this village. I've got to protect my neighbors. It's not much time to plan, but I refuse to let everyone get murdered. Wow. You've got a noble heart. You sent your crew away so you could face the danger alone. Well then, we're going to help you. I'm telling you now, the treasure is all mine. Huh? All right, cool, cool. That's great. I love it. Okay, so I we have it. the SBS questions here. Mm. Questions corner. We have answers from Ichiro Oda's mailbag. Okay, at the end of volume two of the Japanese graphic novel, we asked our readers for letters. So this is the letters section. We got some great mail. Readers' questions and or comments are indicated below with a Q and my answers are indicated with an A. I randomly selected a few letters to answer. How old are Luffy, Zoro, Nami, and Shanks? I got a lot of letters asking this question, a whole lot. In terms of numbers, it's probably the most asked question. Wow. Currently, Luffy is 17, Zoro is 19, and Nami is 18. Shanks is currently missing, but I'll tell you how old he was 10 years ago when he was at Luffy's village. He was 27 years old. That's a very if, specific answer. Yeah, if my math is correct, then, unless time flows in a weird way uh -huh. in this world, yeah, he must be 37. Well, or if he's already dead. Oh, shoot. Like, that's, oh, I don't, shoot. Like, I don't think they would do that. Maybe he's, well, okay, it could also just be something where Oda's keeping the mystery up by basically saying, like, you know, I'm not going to tell you anything about, <gasps> you know, Confirming something about a character being, you right. know, around uh -huh. or what have but, you. Oh my god. Like, the they're, they're not actually is thinking this far ahead with us, chat. Oda is a genius. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, why are all the bad guys so strange? Strange? Hmm, now that you mention it, maybe they are a little strange. But I think their strangeness makes them mysterious. Doesn't that make them more appealing? Hmm. What do they mean by strange? I guess maybe they're talking about like the the, the drawings. Buggy the, the clown and you Buggy know. the clown, sure, the animal tamer guy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ichiro Oda sensei. Is it true that you can really stretch your arms and legs? I read that in a magazine. Hey, I think it also said that's a secret. <laughs> wow. He also ate the devil fruit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Oda ate the devil fruit so that his arms and legs would never tire out from uh, oh, all the work all the he drawing. does. Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah exactly. Uh, wait, wait, Carlos616 with the follow. Thank you so much. Sailor goes to the 100 bits. Who would you bet on the two big guys with guns or that one beanie kid with the slingshot? Usopp goes forth. Yeah, that is a good point. He Usopp basically David and Goliath character. this whole thing. Yep. Like mm -hmm. just well, now, now it's pretty impressive. To do that with Kuro. That might be a little bit more tough. Yeah. 323 Starlight with the 100 bits. Just an idea for future live streams as a way to bring back the musical part of the manga readings. You can react to the One Piece anime openings. I'm currently working on a list of which openings to watch per volume to avoid spoilers. Hmm. We'll, we'll, we'll look into that, but, but no, no promises No guarantees, yet. yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, well, they underestimate Oda's skills. <laughs> spoilers. Shanks is older than 27. <laughs> <laughs> Oh what? my god. <laughs> Told you bros these answers were juicy. You can potentially mine a lot of theories from them. Hmm. Yes indeed. See, like I deduced, Shanks is 37 currently. But maybe he has Zawado Devil Fruit. Oh. So he has been, you know, permanently 27 ever since, you know, he went and sure. Huh. So like no, he's actually permanently twenty nine because it took him two years to find Zawa no oh. devil fruit. Yes, yes, indeed. Hmm. It's, it's 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 obvious. It's it's it's, it's mm -hmm. all right there. It's hidden in plain sight. Okay. Oh, someone already did that on the Discord. Took me five hours to do so. Whoa. Oh dang, grasses. Thank you. Well, <laughs> pass that on to us in uh, one of the channels and see what we can uh, mm -hmm. see what we can do about that. But on to chapter twenty eight, Crescent Moon. 
Slash, you guys are willing to fight beside me? Why? You're hopelessly outnumbered, right? You look pretty scared. Me? Scared? Ha! <laughs> That's a, a, a laugh. Outnumbered or not, I'll be fine. I'm Captain Usopp, brave warrior of the sea. <laughs> All Happy right. lies again. And a double pager. Oh, shoot. Here we go. This is, this is great. So we got Zoro balancing. Are those cabbages or rocks on his head? I think those are potatoes. Oh. Because it's a bunch of vegetables. Sure. And those look the most lumpy, so they're probably potatoes. Yeah. But we have animated vegetables and such. And Nami shoving an eggplant in Luffy's face. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Mm hmm. <laughs> but then we have who someone who. In this relationship. We have someone who actually looks a lot like uh, Captain Shanks in the, uh, yeah. in the front there. Because he's wearing the straw hat. But. Because uh, it doesn't look like. It's not Usopp. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, is that Shanks riding the cow belt? The cow bull? Yeah. Hmm. Possibly. <laughs> All right, next page. <laughs> rattle, 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 rattle. Hey! Darn! Darn, darn it! What are you looking at? I'm going up against Captain Kuro's pirates. Of course I'm scared, so what? I don't want your pity. <laughs> it's his knees knocking. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't want your pity. You guys can stop laughing at me. We're not laughing at you. We're impressed. That's why we're going to help you. Who would risk their life out of pity? <laughs> you, you guys. They'll attack from this beach. And this is the route to the village. They'll have to come up to this pass. Everywhere, el everywhere else, there's just sheer cliffs. So if we can defend this path, the village will be safe. Wow, piece of cake. Easier said than done. We'll have to fight like, a we'll have to fight like an army. And what can you guys do? I cut. I stretch. And I steal. I run and hide. You gotta fight. <laughs> You've gotta fight! <laughs> oh, yeah. That's all three yeah. of them. Yeah. <laughs> How would I do Nami's voice and Luffy's voice at the same time? You gotta, you fight. gotta fight! Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next page. Where's Miss Kaya? Oh, where's Miss Kaya? Oh, yeah, yeah. She's already gone to bed. Today's excitement exhausted her. To think all of that happened while I was over in the next town. That Usopp is a troublemaker. He accused you of being a pirate. What a storyteller. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey, what's this? Oh, yes. That's a gift for you from Miss Kaya. Tomorrow it will be exactly three years since you came to this estate. An anniversary of sorts. Anniversary, eh? Your glasses are always slipping, so Miss Kaya had these specially made for you. She's such a generous, thoughtful person. Yes, she is. Tomorrow will be a special day indeed. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> There's a crescent moon out tonight. Nights like this do something to me. Bring out the beast in me. Oh. Okay. But he drops the gift box. Well, he he took the glasses out, but yeah. I know, but the idea that he uh -huh, yep. he so casually just yep, kind of drops yep. it as if it's nothing. <laughs> Kuro, I like adjusting my glasses. <laughs> oh! Oh, and oh. he just crunch stepped on it. Oh, oh dang. Oh, boy. Oh, no. He's been waiting for this for too long. No! Kalador, why did you destroy Miss Kaya's gift? Oh, I'll accept a gift from her, but not some paltry trinket. I'd prefer her entire estate. But why? What? There's no need to, for me to continue this charade. In a few hours, the <clears throat> accident will happen. Three years is a long time to wait. Miss Kyle, you must run! Ching! Oh, oh he's dead! Oh, man! Oh! All right. Oh! He just got his throat slit. Wow. Oh. Dead. Yeah, get some Fs in chat for for the best voice acted butler. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Captain Django, it's almost dawn. Wake up. Of course he's asleep still. Morning, Captain. Morning, Captain. Fools, I told you it's not morning till the sun comes up. Wait, what was my voice for him? It was more... Oh. Yeah. Fools, I told you it's not morning yeah, Nick till, Cage, the, basically. till the sun comes up. The moon hasn't even set yet. It's still night. Sorry, sir. Shuff, 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 shuff. All right, you bloodthirsty scalawags. Good morning. One, two, Django, acting captain of the Black Cat Pirates. <gasps> Set sail. Yar! It's perfect. There, wait, uh, that actually is a... Uh, it's perfect. There's no way they'll make it up this pass. Not with all the oil we poured on. We poured it? Hmm? Poured down it. Oh, poured down it. How did I miss that? Now, here's the plan. We attack them while they're slipping and sliding. No matter what happens, we hold this pass. <laughs> and there's the but, imagined yeah. way of <laughs> I just hope we don't end up slipping and sliding ourselves. It'd be pretty dumb to get caught in our own trap. You sure did come up with a slick plan. But <laughs> Naturally, when it comes to daring ideas in this slingshot, I have absolute confidence. Ta -da. Mm. It's dawn. Here it's... they come. All right, everyone's okay. uh, everyone's getting prepped. We have Captain Kuro. Yep. We have Kaya, and we have Django. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. They're definitely going to get caught up in their own traffic. <laughs> Sometimes I let the match burn down to my fingertips just so I can feel something. Anything. anything. Yeah. <sighs> Land for me, boys! All right. Oh my god, he's actually yelling. Whoa. Land for me, boys! All right, you scallywags! Hit the beach! Sack the village! And capture that estate! Arr! Captain, there's two suspicious vessels docked here. Believe him be. There's no treasure in those leaky old tubs. Mm. So, where are they? It's already dawn. Maybe they overslept. Maybe it's just me, but I think I hear someone yelling yar to the north of <laughs> <laughs> oh crap. Yeah! North? I definitely hear something. Hey, what is it? Uh, there's another landing on the north beach. You mean we're on the wrong beach? <laughs> wow, that's bad. <laughs> that's really that's bad. bad. Oh my gosh. But the pirates had the secret meeting here. I just assumed. We've got to get to them before they attack the village. Which way should we go? We once. If we if we run straight north, we should get there in about three minutes. There's another pass. They're, they're almost exactly like this one. We can not We can stop them there. Oh, no! Our ships are at the North Beach! They'll take our treasure! <laughs> and they're like, I'll be there in 20 seconds! Oh, my God. God, my great oil slip plan was for nothing. Hurry! Nami, what are you doing? Yeah! Help! I'm slipping! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Huh? Uh, let go, fool! Sorry! Much better. Thanks, Zoro! Sorry, Zoro, but our treasure's in danger! Wow. So the one Nami's person. Priorities. Like, the person that would probably be the best help other than Luffy, basically, yep. is gonna be super late showing up. Yep, yep. How convenient. Yep. Don't worry about. Oh. Wait, that's her saying that. Don't worry about me! Someday I'm gonna kill that girl. <laughs> I can just imagine Travis Willingham voice acting yeah. this guy just being like, sometime, I'm gonna kill that girl. Yeah. Just like... <laughs> I swear I won't let them get to the village. But that guy sure is fast. I can't even see him. It's you. No, that's... that's it's you. Head straight north. Straight, straight north. No, 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 no. That was meaning he Luffy's echoing him. Basically oh, okay. Saying that. So head straight north. Straight north. They touched my treasure. They're dead. <laughs> 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 Pillaging time. 
I love how they all have cap ears. <laughs> Someone's at the top of the hill. You. My name is Captain Usopp. I've been waiting for you scoundrels. We've, we're fully prepared for battle. Turn back now if you value your lives. Ah! Oh, wait, that's yeah. How can I get up there? <laughs> huh? I'm outside the village. He said head north, so I just went in the direction that seemed coldest. Ah, Luffy! Oh my no! god. No! Oh my Luffy! god. Oh my god. <laughs> I have so, never heard I have never heard of a protagonist use that kind of logic. Oh my god. Usopp's gonna die and it's all their fault. Yeah, yes. Alright, that's the end of that's the end of that chapter. Going into uh next chapter Uphill, Uphill Battle. battle. So first is this we have just... some more S SBS questions here. Hmm. First off, a question for Oda Sensei. What do you do with the stuff you get from fans? It's in my room. All of it. And by the way, I've read every single letter and postcard I've gotten so far, not even missing one. They really give me energy. It wouldn't be an overstatement to say that it's because of them that I've been able to go on as a manga artist. Thank you. Aww. Aww. What a sweet guy. Is Zoro's name inspired by the pirate Francois Lolo Noir? In Japanese, Lolo Noir is pronounced Lolo Noah or Roa Noah. Ro -ro Noah. Gotcha. That's right. I took his name from Francois Lolo Noah, said to be the most barbaric of the so-called Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, oh mm. interesting. Someone did it first. I see you, Bruckheimer, trying to be all sneaky, copying One Piece. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, in addition, Morgan and Alvida are both named after pirates who actually existed. Yes, I knew about right. Morgan, but Alvida, that's that's interesting. I'll have to look yeah. that up, yes. Uh, this concerns Captain Buggy the Clown. Is that Buggy's actual hair coming out from both sides of that hat? Or is it just a decoration? I really want to know. If that's really his hair, then Captain Buggy's got some long hair. Yes, this question came up a lot. Why don't I let you, why don't, why don't I have you take a look? This is, this is, humor me by, by dying. Hey, humor me by giving back my hat. Yes, it's actually, it, yes, it's my actual hair. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god, it is his hair. He's a, he's a, he's a schoolgirl with the pigtails. Yep. With the propped up pigtails. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Shanks, I'll get you a hat. A really big one. <laughs> yes, exactly. Wow. <laughs> when you make a post on Discord about Morgan and Alvita and got ignored. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know if I, I missed it and stuff, but there's so many messages on there. It must have been uh must we, have been we lost forgot in the mix about of Morgan and Alvita being uh real pirates. <laughs> right. You know. Fragile box with the follow, thank you so much. Moradale with the one hundred bits. Ah, I see you are starting to understand Luffy logic. Welcome to our pain. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> well, oh all boy. right. Oh, cool piece that of art. That is a very cool piece Snowboarding, of art. Snowboarding, Nami, Luffy, and, and Zoro. Look at how badass <laughs> Zoro looks. Yep. He's he's practically sitting on it, yep. and he's got this like arms crossed, like hmm. shadowed eyes and everything. Yeah. I, I gotta say, I'm I love badass. I love that it's called uphill battle when that basically could that's, be just Zoro. That could be just Zoro. Now they also yeah. have a similar situation, but right. but the idea that Zoro the entire chapter could theoretically just be struggling getting back up the hill. Exactly. Alright. Here we go, starting chapter twenty nine. Yeah What? I'm the first one here. That guy was way ahead of me. Hmm. It's you. You're the little barnacle that overheard our plan. What's the idea? This is your final warning. Leave now while you still can. I have ten million fighting men ready to crush you dogs. That's the worst lie I've heard all morning. Ten million? Really? Come on, Captain. He be lying. Does he think we're fools? Gasp. They saw through me. You gads. Does he really think we're that stupid? Why, you, you'll pay for your deceit. <laughs> Captain Django, it's amazing. What is it? 
Trouble? Not trouble. Treasure. We found treasure up on those suspicious ships. It's a king's ransom. Maybe four or five million berries. What? F five? Five? <clears throat> five? <laughs> five million berries? Why would they have so much treasure on their ship? That's my treasure, but I'll let you have it. Let you have it all. But I'll let you have it all. Huh? You're going to give us all the treasure? Yes, I will. I'll give you that treasure if you leave immediately. What? He's trying to pay us off. Why, that scum? <laughs> I love how it's like, they're actually like, <gasps> wow, yeah. what, how could he do that? It's like, yeah, they're really dumb now. It's uh -huh. like... Are you daft? Of course we'll take the treasure. But why should we leave? <laughs> He's got a point. <laughs> now when I say one, two, Django, he'll step aside. One, two. Yikes, it's some trans- It's some strange projectile weapon. Jan- Don't say foolish things, Buster! Wow. <laughs> wow. Who's that woman? Captain, this ain't no time for politics. He stepped aside. Yeah. Wow, uh -huh. just in the nick of time, Dave. Yep. The treasure on that ship is mine, and I'm not giving up one berry of it. Hang on to it for me because I'm coming for it. <laughs> What's the big idea giving away my treasure? Ouch, that hurt. Why'd you hit me? You fool. I just saved your skin. What? I forgot to tell you, but don't look at that guy's ring when he starts counting. A what hypnotist? <laughs> no, he's a hypnotist. A, a what hypnotist? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Hey, where's Luffy? He charged off before any of us. I don't know. Maybe he got lost or scared. He must be lost. Hmm. <laughs> and just when we really need him. Okay, go attack them. I'll back you up. What? Why me? <laughs> what can I do against an army of ruthless cut- Oh, wait. <laughs> what can I do against an army of ruthless cutthroats? I'm only a girl. You don't expect me to do it just because I'm a man. Look how scared I am. My knees are shaking. See? <laughs> <laughs> well, look at me. I'm starting to cry. <laughs> it tries a desert. <laughs> <laughs> the double entendre. I'm so sorry, guys. But she she set herself up for that. He, she said, I'm crying. Which is a lie, obviously. Uh -huh. Nami probably doesn't cry for anything except treasure sinking to the bottom of the ocean. Right. But then he responds back with, you're dry as a desert. He said that to the only girl in the main cast, which well is like... Oh, I mean, let's be real. Oh, let's be real. There's no way she would get with <laughs> Zoro or Luffy. Well, right, right. But it, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, let's let's continue this. This is this is hilarious. We've no time for their foolishness. Just charge over them and head for the village. You sea devils. Arr! Here they come. Hey. hey, I just remembered. I have some caltrops. Hey, you've got some goodies in there. Gimme, gimme. <laughs> I've asked ye or I'll trample your innards. Trample this. Caltrop torture. Whew. Oh, nice, nice. And so <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Curse that near me. When I see her again. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an oily hill. <laughs> At last, I made it. Now, which way to the North Beach? Head straight north. Oh, wait. Oh. Head straight north. Straight north. And, uh... Which way is north? That's right, because they can't tell directions. <laughs> he is not the navigator. That's why Nami is here. That is why Nami is here. Who's the brains of this operation? <laughs> Zoro, which way to the North Beach? Us. North. <laughs> right. All right, next page. Oh, ouch. Yeah, it worked. Now it's time for my secret weapon, lead stars. And thump. Curse him. You're doing great. Keep it up. 
I'm gonna take a breather. But you haven't done any fighting yet. <laughs> What's wrong? There are caltrops behind us too. You dummy! You threw them there. <laughs> wow. You lubbers are in the way. That's still him. Oh, but not for long. And Ooh. Ooh. Oh, 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 square in the back of the head. Yeah. Oh. Dang. Oh. <sighs> Dang the blood. Yeah. <clears throat> Did you really think you could stop the fiercest pirates on the seas? L oh wait. Let's go, Mihertes. Captain Kuro awaits us. I. Huh? <clears throat> I want some more. <clears throat> let go, curse ya! No, never. I'll never let you pass. My last talk tale will be a true one. This will be another. This will be another boring day for my village. Oh, that's a good that's, shot. That's and a, a great good panel. Line. Just this is just gonna be another boring day for my village. Yep, yep. I'm not gonna let you guys be even an event of interest for them. Oh yeah. Blasted whelp. Oh, here oh. comes a sword. And Nami. Nami's gonna make her move. All right. And <clears throat> oh, blasted yeah. wench. And bang. So she's got like a steel pipe of some kind yeah, or what have you. Something that's made of metal to block the, right. the swords here. And wham. Oof. <sighs> Yo. I'm going to kill these two. <sighs> Don't waste your time on them. We're late. We must sack the village. Have you forgotten Captain Kuro's orders? If we ruin his plans... He'll cut all our throats! Do you understand that, you addled fools? Yikes. I'm trying to make him actually sound intimidating. Right, right. I need a drink of water after yeah, that one. That, that, was... that, 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 oh boy. Mm. Ah, ah. All right. <laughs> Yikes. To the village, hurry! Yeah! Wait, on you. Wait, don't go to the village. <laughs> what? Shut your trap and get out of my way! <laughs> Please, stop! Please, don't massacre my people! And... <laughs> oh, Luffy? Or Zoro? I think, I think Luffy's here. Uh, <laughs> huh? Huh? Well, it's about time. What? Wait, 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 what? Oh, yeah. What's this, Captain Django? You never told us we'd be facing demons on this job. Both in the Raven at the same oh, time. Oh, it's both of them yeah. showing up like a like a bro band <laughs> duo. Like, look at the way these yeah, two yeah, walk up. Uh -huh. This is this is legit. Oh, this is great. Not much. This is challenge. pretty good. What was that? How could I know? Now I'm in a bad mood. Nami, you marooned me in that muck. Darn you, Usopp! Why didn't you tell me which way was north? <laughs> Are they crazy? <laughs> yes, yes, they're Indeed. actually crazy. Yes. But they're gonna go crazy on you, so here we go. SBS questions. Why is Luffy always so calm? Probably because he's so stupid. <laughs> well, that's a very simple and straightforward answer. I, I yeah. respect it, yes. Uh, Luffy's treasure is a straw hat. Oda-sensei, do you have a straw hat that is dear to you? If not, tell us what your treasure is. Oh, my treasure? Ah, uh, but of course that would be all of you, my readers. The oh. One Piece is totally going to be the friends we made along the way. Yeah, in, in a way, Oda's One Piece is the friends he made along the way. Yes, exactly. But for us, it has to be something tangible because it's the world of fiction. Mm -hmm. Why does Moji's hair look the way it does? He was born that way. But his hair grows longest in those two places. If he lets it go, he'll start to look like a rabbit. Wow. Oh. Oh, gotcha. Okay. I was always wondering why he looked like that. Wow. Normal appearance. What? It becomes like this. Boing. Oh, what do you want? And then like this. What is it? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I thought of some new tricks for Luffy. First, he inflates his stomach with a gum gum balloon. Then he pokes a hole in himself with the gum gum pistol, or Zoro's sword. Result, big explosion. Call it the gum gum bomb. 
Thanks for thinking that up. But if Luffy did that, he'd be dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that isn't that isn't although, really uh, Although you could do something where he makes sense, yeah. stretches it up like a balloon and then he uses that to fly. I know, it's choking me, Savvy. It's like like just a bit a bit much. Put it up my Adam the Apple. Maybe it'll change the way my voice sounds. I can Kill, that yeah. was totally fake. This is not how I'll change the way my voice sounds. Oh, that's how you do your... Mr. Anderson, welcome mm. back. We missed you. Okay. <laughs> Luffy could totally inhale enough helium to fly. Oh, there we go. Now we solved the whole problem. Hey. <laughs> At least it would be suicide with style. Chapter 30, Backfire. Um. Oh, Panda Man Lol, thank you so much for the follow. Yes. Glad to have you here. I don't know if it has been explained before, but Nami's weapon is a metal staff that separates into three parts, which she hides under her skirt. Oh. Gotcha. Oh, gotcha. Very, very interesting. Thank you. Thank you. In the anime is shown more clearly, and after reading ahead, I don't think it's ever explained. Okay. Good to know. Luffy could totally inhale enough helium to fly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, possibly. Yes. Monk ass, Mr. Anderson. <laughs> yes, exactly. All right, all right. Okay, let's uh, let's get this going. We have this uh, mecha image of Luffy, Nami, yep. and Zoro. Okay. Boom. They're late. Curse those swabs. They know the penalty for ruining my plans. They're dilly dallying. But if they, but if they need a reminder. Ooh. I'll put them all to death. Okay. Wow. Okay. okay. Kuro is pissed. Doom. I didn't realize you guys were so tough. Yep. <laughs> what took you two so long? Stop for a manicure? You left me stranded in that quagmire. That was an accident. Besides, it was better that one of us got free than for both of us to be stuck. Then you should have stayed stuck. How was I to know which way was north and which wasn't north? You ran off like you knew where you were going. I only had a rough idea. Very rough. <laughs> wow. Uh, pardon me. Please tell me how those two children bested the lot of you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they're still alive. They've got some real spunk. Now listen. We don't have time to play around here. If our opponent is strong, we must be even stronger. That's good, straightforward logic. Oh, crap. Everybody, look at this ring. When I say one, two, Django, you'll all become superhumanly strong. And all your wounds will heal instantly. That's a problem. And you'll keep getting stronger and stronger. What are those guys doing? Who knows? Hypnotism. He's trying to make them believe they're getting stronger. What a load. Oh, wait, no, that's, uh... That's Nami still. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 it's... it's. Oh, it is Nami, but yeah. then there's that little bit there that confused me. Yeah, what a load of yeah. bilge water. Mm. One. Two. Django. Boom. Whoa. Yeah! Okay. All right, here we go. Notice how Zoro didn't say anything against it. He was like, mm. like he might be like, that actually, uh, I should that's try that sometime. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. I'm going to believe myself to be stronger. That's right. Mm. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Guys, reality manipulation. <laughs> reality is whatever I want. Yeah, yeah. No way. They were exhausted a moment ago. <laughs> what the heck? Yo! They're they're breaking Whoa. the the cliffside so they can go around. He broke oh. the cliff? What power? Incredible! His hypnosis really worked! One of them can demolish a cliff? And there's a whole horde of them? Now march! And if anyone tries to stop you, destroy them! Arr! You two wait at the top of the hill. Luffy and I will deal with Luffy? Luffy? Oh wait, that's you. Luffy? Oh. Yar! <laughs> he hypnotized you too? You're, you're doing uh, Zoro's voice. Yeah. He hypnotized you too? Huh? 
That feeble-minded fool. The, hypno the hypnosis wasn't even aimed at him. Yar! Yar! Luffy! Gum gum! Gatling gun! Wow. Wow. And he just demolished them. Arg! His arms! Blah! Arg! Wow. Now it's an all out brawl. Just. Wait. Oh, oh my god. So he busted right through them, went past Django, going straight for their boat, and then just. Smack! <laughs> goes right into the boat. Oof! Eh? What's he gonna do? Oh, no way. He's just gonna try and chuck the ship. <gasps> Go, Luffy! Uh, he's tearing off the stem post. He'll scuttle the ship. <laughs> no! <laughs> He'll smash us like roaches! Can do something! On one, two, Django, you fall asleep. One, two, yeah! Django! Pup. Oh, wait, wait. What did he just get hit with? He just got hit with something. I'm not sure. Okay, next page. And. Oh! Shiver me timbers! And. <laughs> just collapsed. Wow. Okay, it worked. Dang. But, uh, yeah, he, he took off the <laughs> stem post. Yeah. <laughs> the ship's just gonna, just gonna be stuck there. Dang. Okay. Okay. Wow. Arrgh. <laughs> and, uh, <sighs> <sighs> that Brad, he scuppered us. Now we can't carry out the plan. If Captain Kuro finds out, he'll shred these brats to shoestrings and us along with them. Luffy wiped out most of them. But now he's smashed under the stem post. Don't worry about him. He'll be fine. Just see to your own wounds. Hmm. Wait, wait. Hey, Butchie! Get over here! The bow's broken! The bow? How'd that happen? <laughs> hey, it's... The oh. Meow Ben brothers, the ship guards. Oh, God. What? Sounds like they've got more men on the ship. Aye, boy. They were still on the ship. Okay. Now he's, uh... Just walking back to the beach. What is he carrying? He's carrying a cannonball? Or a briefcase? Or a briefcase or something. Yeah, it's a briefcase. Yeah. Tick, tick, tick. It's that butt guy from the mansion. <laughs> Why are you heading up for the beach so early? Oh boy. Oh, if, okay. If carrot, onion, and pepper. Carrot, onion, and pepper are actually going to be. Try like, and stop Captain like, Kuro. They're going to oh play the, the harassment game where they basically like. Oh, uh, uh, notice that Django has been pulling down his hat to avoid getting hypnotized. Wait. 200 IQ plays right there. That's oh, why he didn't fall he asleep. Because he can't see the whole thing. So, so gotcha. So Django yeah. has learned. Because he used to keep getting hypnotized by his own thing. Right. Gotcha. Okay, more questions. How far can Luffy stretch his arms? He can stretch them pretty far. Right now, he can stretch them about 72 gum gums. But Luffy recently said he wants to work up to a stretch of 100 gum gums. Hmm. Clever. He's not actually telling us how long it's going to be. But, right. Yeah. But, you know, the, if a gum gum is is how far he stretches it for like a like a bullet, you know, a pistol punch. Right. Yeah. He's going to get about a 40% increase or what have you on that uh, stretching capacity. Hello, thanks to you, I was able to enter high school. Thank you very much. Huh? Er, you're welcome? <laughs> <laughs> How do you come up with names for your characters? I try to give them names that sound good. Sometimes from real pirates and sometimes not. <laughs> That's it. That's the secret, y'all. Coming up with names. Just names that sound cool. That's basically it. Why doesn't Luffy ever kill his enemies? I reread all the manga. He didn't kill Moji, and he didn't kill Hilmeppo or Captain Morgan. Although Morgan was done in by Zoro. Why is that? Good question. First of all, Captain Morgan is still alive. He was captured by his former men and thrown in the brig. The reason Luffy doesn't kill is this. In his era, men live by their beliefs and risk their lives to defend them. 
Luffy shatters the beliefs of his enemies that by defeating them. For them to suffer defeat and to have their beliefs destroyed is as bad as death. Killing their bodies is besides the point. I feel that, as pirates, Luffy and his enemies care more about their victory and defeat than they care about their lives. Huh. I like I get that. that. Yeah. Okay. All right. And so, Shanks exemplified an that very point. nicely at the beginning. Yeah. All right. Truth. Going FMA here. How dare you make a fool of me, mocking my pirate blood, and I'll kill you. Usopp, please stop. I'll kill you. I don't understand. Why would Usopp act like that? Kahador? Kahador, are you there? Oh. <laughs> Mary! What happened? Mary, open your eyes! Please don't die! Oh, Mary's still alive. <coughs> Mary! Miss, Miss Kaya, thank heaven you're alive. Of course I'm alive. Who did this to you? Clodor! <coughs> dun dun. Clodor! Clodor tried to kill me! What? He's a... If he should ever lay a hand on you... Oh, if, she, oh. if he should ever lay a hand on you, I'll have failed you and your father. But why would he? He's a... He's a... A pirate! Then what? What Usopp said was true! It was true. He discovered Cahador's deception. He was trying to save us. But... None of us, none of us believed him. You'll find out the truth tomorrow, but now I've got to get you away from here. And to think we defended that villain. Oh, and to think we defended that villain and drove away a brave young man who was about, to, who was ready to die to save the village. What have I done? I said those awful things to him. <coughs> Mary! <coughs> Somebody! Oh, wait, there. Somebody help! Mary needs help! It's no use. Everyone on the estate has been on vacation since yesterday. No, then I'll... You mustn't panic. There's still time. Stay calm and think carefully. I saw Clahador leaving the mansion not long ago. If what he told me yesterday was true, he went to fetch his pirates. We're not the only ones in danger. The entire village is, too. Yeah. If Clarador is after this estate and your fortune, then let him have it all. They aren't worth risking lives over. <laughs> yeah. All right. The harsh truth is that only you can stop Clarador now. Wow. Only you. It's a terrible burden. You don't have to do this, you know. I know. But if I didn't try to stop this, what kind of a person would I be? I'm going to have a talk with Clador. <laughs> what? The butt guy went to the beach? Hey, Carrot, wake up. I'm sorry, I'm usually still asleep at this hour. Well, we can't sleep now. We have a disaster to deal with. I think the pirates really are going to attack. The captain said he was lying, but I think that was a lie. I was thinking that too. Me too. He was acting really weird yesterday. Huh? It's... It's Miss Kaya. Why is she out walking around on her own? Something bad must have happened. Hmm. These astute deductions by these little young yep. ones. All right, all right. Ooh. Who's on the ship? <laughs> you guys are dead meat now. Melban Brothers, come on down! <laughs> fire, Lord, fire! <laughs> oh my god, yes, yes. Alright, so, uh, who do you want to do for these ones here? There's, uh, there's the one on the right with the black gloves and the one with the white gloves. Which one do you I'll want? I'll do black gloves. Alright. 
Hey, the captain's calling us. What? They're not at the village yet. How come they're still on the beach? Look, someone beat them all up. Looks like trouble. Shall we go? Of course we'll go. And boom, boom, boom. Now, bam, brothers, I need your help. You called Captain Django? Ship guard Siam. Uh. Ship guard Butchie. What is it? <laughs> what are they? <laughs> Amazing. They jump from that high deck like cats. Butchie, Siam, we must get up that path. Oh, wait, no, that's... No. Butchie, Siam, we must get up that path. Mm. But as you see... As you can see, there's something in our way. Get rid of it. Hmm. We, we can't do that. Can we, Butchie? He looks really mean. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. All right. I thought there was some kind of secret weapon. Huh? They're scared to death. Oh, we're just the ship gods. Oi. We're not supposed to take any part in any fights. Siam, attack that swordsman at once. Huh? Me? Get him. All right, I'll go, I'll go. He's starting to cry. <laughs> Why is he making someone like that fight? Ready or not. Ready or not. Here I come. I'll scratch your eyes out. Yeah, it's you. He thinks he can scratch me. I'll cut your full head off if you don't stop. Go ahead if you can. What the? Slash. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, dang. He does have claws. Oh, yeah. Crap. Shing. Hey. Uh, you underestimated me, didn't you? You fell for it. I was just pretending to be a scaredy cat. Okay. He's not really a coward. Zoro, your swords! Huh? What the? <laughs> it seems you have a bit of talent. But you shouldn't take Siam Yao Band guard of the Black Cat too lightly. Lose something. Lose something, me bucko. Somehow your pretty swords ended up with me. He did it. Aye, he's a cat burglar. Rats. Wait, I'm mixing up his voice. I'm going to figure that out again. I, I'm missing up. <laughs> I'm mixing up voices Simon's now. Voice too. All right. Keep going. Keep going. Rats. He got my swords. Okay. Next chapter. Okay. More SBS questions. The furries. Yep. Yeah, the attack of the furries. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Deception is a big thing in this arc. Go figure. Wonder why. Yeah, yeah. Basically. All right, next question. Hey, do you like animals, Sensei? I get the feeling there's at least one animal on every one of your title pages. Hmm. It's true that I've been putting animals on the title pages. Well, let's see. I do like animals, but the degree to which I like them is about average, I think. But I do like drawing animals. It's kind of fun to draw furry round shapes. I especially like drawing stuff like pandas, born with what looks like hilarious makeup, or wombats who look like they could be on a most wanted sign oh and also i like how owls have an expression like they were just hit by a bb gun <laughs> <laughs> that's great that is amazing i yeah. i had never thought about that with owls that's that's amazing the design on clahador's suit that looks like poop is that really poop or is there some other significance it's poop wow wait what I am checking this out. Where the heck? It is! Oh, yeah. That's funny. Wow. What the heck? It's like he was telling it's, us, it's, this, it's, this is a poop. shitty guy. Yeah. Question. Nami's measurements. Seriously. Please tell me. I see. You're in earnest. Seriously. Huh? I understand. This is something. I don't know either. So I'll just go measure her right now. Okay then. Here I go. Ah! <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh no, you genius. Yeah. Just like, wow, freaking pervs here, uh -huh. just being like, 
Here's Nami, NSFW art, rule 34, measurements, blah, blah, blah. Wow, well done. <laughs> Nami, my measurements, really? Nami, you surprise me. Perfect timing. Well, I'll get to it. Let's see. Bonk. Bonk. Ow! I don't mind you. Me I don't mind letting you measure me, but it'll cost you. What? How much? Uh, what? That much? How do you expect me to be able to pay such a sum? <laughs> She's distracted. Now's my chance. Bonk. Ow! If you don't have the money, there's nothing to discuss. Next time, be sure to bring it. See ya. <laughs> Dang it, foiled. But someday, I'll get her measurements. Wait for me, young man. I'll keep my promise. Wow. Oh, that's even better. Wow. He just keeps going. That That is amazing. Wow. That's great. Uh, Sailor goes with the 100 bits. Just saying, Oda met his wife when she was cosplaying Nami for a gig. I believe someone said that in wow. one of the previous streams. But yeah, that's, that's great. That's some... Uh, mm -hmm. it, that's something else. Maybe he was finally able to get her measurements. <laughs> wow. 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 Oh, my God. All right. Oh, I love this one. This art with... Uh... And wait, Luffy's holding a staff with his feet. Yeah, he's being the... Uh... Like between his toes. He's being monkey D. Luffy, you know. Oh, the, the, you know. Yeah. You know, okay. Wow. Why journey takes... to the West? You uh -huh. know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I, I get it now. I don't know why it took <laughs> me so long to get it, but I get it now. All right. Chapter thirty-two. Nuts! He swiped Zoro's swords. Give me back those swords. Give them back. <laughs> Isn't one enough? Before we fight, I'd better check these. They'll just slow me down. <laughs> Zoro's like, you bludgeoned my sword. You scuffed my jays. Oh, no, you didn't. Perfect. Now then, I've lightened the load. Swords that don't belong to you should be treated more respectfully. Huh? Oh, oh, and he just... Cut him oh, nearly just, in half. Yeah, gutted him. He's good. Oh, well, I guess it's my turn. Wow. You dirty. You shouldn't have taken my swords. Hey, my shirt. <laughs> oh, well. I have a cat's waistline, you know. Oh, my God. Wow. 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 There was no stomach under his shirt. Come on, Butchie, have a go. Aye, aye, Sam. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him a voice that's just anti for his uh, size and yeah. stuff like that. And I'm just gonna have it be more of a kid's voice. He talks like this. Yeah. Aye, aye, Sam. Cat strike. Catapult. Watch out. Huh? Catastrophe. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> wow. There we go. Wow. The ground's cracking. Curse. Curse ya. He got away. He should have sunk your claws into him. You should have sunk your claws into him, Siam. My bad. My bad. More brute strength in him than I reckoned. That was close. This is serious. If he gets me with one of those cat whammies, I'll be a pirate flavored pancake. Won't let you escape again. That's right. Not so good at one sword style, but here I go, Butchie. Get him, Siam. Pussy Willow March. And, and... 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 Deflect, 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 deflect. Darn, Soros giving ground. Aren't you gonna do something? Can't hold out for long against their combined assault. I'll provide artillery support. Eight lead cats. Swing. <gasps> Meow! Meow! And... Boom. Oh! And unfortunately, Zoro's the one that got hit by that. Friendly oh. fire. Oh! Mm. What? An opening! Ooh! And... Uh. Slish! 
Whose side are you on, Usopp? No, I didn't. It was like he tried to get hit on purpose. Oh, he's trying to get himself fired up. On purpose? Usopp, you idiot. Are you trying to get me killed? Maybe he saved us. Huh? If you do hit one of them, those two might shift their attack to us. Think about what would happen to us. Zoro. There's no time to worry about others. Darn. If I just had even one more sword. Okay. We can't fight them off like this. I'm gonna go get Zoro's swords. If we can get them to him, he'll fix those freaks. Then let me get them. You're in no shape. You can barely walk. Hey! Whoosh. What is she? Oh, boy. Django, yeah. Yep. Yeah. If I can just get them to him. Oh. She. <gasps> oh, boy. No more swords for you. Oh, blood drawn. Wow. Okay. Uh. You pig. That was our last hope. Ah, uh, no, oh, uh, sir, we've hit a few snags. Oh, hey. here he comes. You, <laughs> Captain Koro, he'll he'll kill us all. Oh, not now. What a time for him to show. It's long past dawn, but. You seem to be having trouble following my plan. What Nep? No, this oh. is. What oh. Neptune's name is going on? <laughs> oh crap! Wow, okay. that was a short chapter, but Kuro is here. Yep, mm -hmm. Kuro's here. Oh crap! <laughs> Imagine thinking you need to help Zoro. <laughs> yeah. Oh dang! All right. Ooh. I've got a question. Why does Zoro always wear a haramaki sash like an old man? Tell me, please. How rude. Sit yourself down and listen up. The haramaki is Japan's most powerful heart-stopping outfit. It is also high fashion, tight-fitting combat wear. And don't you forget it. Apologize. Dismissed. <laughs> that, that was amazing. <laughs> that was amazing. Yes. I've seen the same character, Mikio Itu, in three different manga, One Piece, Butsu Zone, and Rurouni Kenshin. Who is this? I'm dying to know. In One Piece, I discovered him in Volume 1, page 14, panel 3, on the Wanted poster behind the first mate. Page 16, panel 1 on the bottle, page 86, panel 2 on the Wanted poster behind Luffy, and Volume 2, title page on the Wanted poster behind Zoro. You've got him on Wanted posters. Please tell me who he is. Who is he? You found him, all right. Good job. His name... His name's Mikio Itu. He's a quick draw expert. He appears as a traveling performer in both Butsu Zone, manga by Hiroyuki Take, who draws Shaman King for Shonen Jump, and Rurouni Kenshin. Uh, you ask who he is? Let's just say he's one of those who has run through the wild fields with me. I can't count the number of times he saved my life, covering my back with his gunfire. He'll likely appear before all of you sometime soon. Wow. Okay. So a cool like, like thing that they noticed a consistent thing for someone that basically studied the manga. Uh huh. And uh, ended up finding that out. Yeah, two hundred IQ question for real. Yeah. Through these SBS panels, what do you guys think of Oda as a guy so far? Oh, he's very whimsical and yeah, fun. Yeah, it it makes sense that he's the person who wrote One, One Piece. Piece. Yeah. Or you can you can feel yeah. One Piece more in the writing. Sorry, you can feel Oda more in the One Piece writing as I get to know yeah. him through these questions. Mm -hmm. All right, chapter 33, The Creaking Cat. The Creeping Cat. Wow, okay. I need more water. Me too. Yep, we're going to take a little water break here, y'all. Oh, boy. Oh, it, my God. And it is hot in here. Okay, but we're about we're about two-thirds of the way through the through Wow. Down. Yeah. Dang. Whew. Ugh. Oda was the assistant in Rurouni Kenshin. Oh. Oh, dang. He's a perv shonen mentor that came alive. Huh? <gasps> yep. 
Oda loves it when fans take note of the little details. He once got excited to talk about some trees when people asked about the weird design. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, that's really cool. Yeah. Hey, Foxboy1000, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Yep. Appreciate it. Make sure to get access to our private Discord via the invite in the subscriber room. Yes. So uh, uh, make sure to get in on that. So you can chat with the community about uh, One Piece stuff in the uh, Spoilers One Piece uh, channel, stuff like that. 323 Starlight with the 100 bits. Fun fact, the One Piece anime has three episodes with a crossover with other anime. The first two with the food-themed fighting show Toriko, and the third being a three-way crossover with Toriko and Dragon Ball Z. Oh, cool. Okay, very interesting. Ugh. All right. Oh, yeah, and remember last volume when Shanks and Buggy argued about what pole was colder? Now remember Luffy's comment on what North was? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. And was Shanks the one arguing for the North Pole being colder? Yeah. There, that, that's it. That's why yep. That's why Luffy was the one being like, I just had to put the direction that was coldest. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's really funny. All right. Going into the next uh, chapter here. Are you telling me these children held you up? Is this what the pirates of the Black Cat have come to? Is that it, Django? Ooh, <laughs> but you you said it didn't matter if we let the kid go. That's what you said. Yes, I said that. And I was right. It shouldn't have been a problem. Anyone could have predicted that he would try to thwart us. But I didn't expect your defenses to be so feeble. I'm in no mood to hear excuses. Yes. Feeble, says he. Us. Care to say that again, Captain Kuro? Oh, they're about to die. Oh. They're about to die. Maybe you were strong once. You have something to say? Avast! Bucci! Siam! Belay that! A lot can change in three years. We ain't been living in a fancy mansion getting slow and soft. We plundered countless villages. We sent many a rival crew down to see Davy Jones. They're gonna mutiny. You'll find we ain't... <laughs> <laughs> My voice is confusing your voice. You'll find we ain't so easy to kill. Sometimes things don't go as planned. You've been out of action for... Th I can't do it. I can't do it. It's the it's the, the pirate from Berserk. Yeah, it's, yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. You've been out of action for three years. You think you can beat the shop class of the Meow Man Brothers? <laughs> Saying that out loud with a straight face and stuff. I can't! Me? I can't do it! <laughs> oh my god! Uh, <laughs> I chose the wrong voice for this guy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They got a point. Even Captain Django can't beat the two of them at once. <laughs> You ain't our captain no more! <laughs> if you're just gonna kill us anyway, we'll kill you first. Swish, swish, and... Oh. They got the bag? Oh, no, he opened his bag. Oh, oh, right, right, they tore open the bag. Whoa! But now he has basically... He's like, he's like, like lust, basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. He has blade... He has blade Ooh. hands. Are you going to kill? How'd he get behind them? He pulled a pussyfoot maneuver! What's his weapon? Huh. Got behind us. Huh? Oh, yeah. He's not there. You two were right. <laughs> I have gotten soft. <laughs> oh, dang. It's oh, true. dang. I'm not your captain anymore. So fast. But I hired you to do a job, and the penalty for failure is death. Nobody ever outmaneuvered the Meowbam brothers before. Those two were getting the better of Zoro. Granted, he only had one sword, but Clador's playing with them like kittens. What did you fools expect? Captain Koro's pussyfoot maneuver is a technique for undetectable movement. 
You could gather 50 assassins, and they'd all be dead before they knew he was near. We've got to carry out his plan. He comes straight from Buccano with that technique. Yep. When I saw him for the first time after three years, and saw that habit of his, I shivered. To avoid scratching his face with his cat claws. I was wondering why he wow. did that. Why he did this. Yeah. Oh. And that makes sense why why they're all the, the black cats. Because he's he's the big cat. And he in this case oh, he's got claws. In other translations, it's silent step. Oh. Wow. That's funny. Silent, silent step, step to makes, Pussyfoot. Silent step is way The flying cooler. silent step. That's a much cooler sounding train name. Right? He pushes his glasses up his nose like that. It's proof that he hasn't forgotten how to kill. <laughs> Yo! Meow! Three years of inaction have softened my heart. You've got five minutes. If everything isn't sorted out by then, I'll kill every last one of you with my own hands. <laughs> I don't want to die! Five minutes? Hmm. <laughs> Cripes, and to think that this devil's been living in our midst for three years. Five minutes? We can finish this in five minutes. That's fifty rounds of combat. Exactly. No problem. Oh, wait. No, oh, that's think, me, I think. Yeah. No problem. We'll just kill him real quick. Then we can charge right up the slope. Ah, we oh, were no, that's me. Aye, we were beating him before. He ain't so fearsome. We'll be shock bait. He'll be. He'll be shock bait in five seconds. Zoro! Your swords! Huh? Nice, oh, she got him. Yeah. Why, you... First you trample me, then you kick my swords? What? No thank you? Yes. <laughs> Thanks. Saved. Scratch attack. <laughs> you may have more swords now, but your skill is the same. You don't understand. Wielding three swords and following the three sword technique are very different things. Shing. We'll count on you, Meow Bear Brothers! Under five minutes, okay? Slash! Tiger. Hunt! Oh boy. Oh, they did. I think he just won. I think he just killed them. Yeah, yeah. I think he just killed them, yeah. Oh! <gasps> Uh, uh. Whoa! <laughs> Gas! One sword stroke! He beat the Meow Man brothers! <laughs> don't worry. It won't take me even... Wait. Don't worry. It won't even take me five minutes to trash you all. Wow. Try it. <laughs> that... That build rat, I'll smash your bones. Captain, Captain Django, hypnotize me. He's still alive. Your claws need sharpening. All that blubber saved him. <gasps> oh, not blubber, I guess. Oh boy, hypnotism again? That cat's a real nuisance. He could already make the earth crack. What's he gonna be like with superpowers? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's because Nami's gone. Just yeah. Running. <laughs> Now's my chance. If I can just wake Luffy up, just like him to sleep through a major crisis. Now, what are you up to, you meddling wench? <laughs> Die. Oh boy. Everyone else is fighting with serious injuries, and look at you. <laughs> wake up. Oh. <laughs> Nami, hit the deck. <gasps> And... <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, boy. All right. I like that people have throwing weapons in this, too. Like, yeah. throwing weapons are actually, like, something that are pretty legit. All right. HN, please give us your vital statistics. Is that your real name? <laughs> It's my real name. So, um, I was born on January 1st, 1975. Wow, New Year's baby. What yeah. the heck? That's rare. I'm a Capricorn, blood type A, year of the rabbit, and I like movies. I'm trying to do my best. <laughs> cool. <laughs> very cool, very cool. Uh, this is a question for Oda-sensei. When did you become 
Uh, when did you decide to be a manga artist, and what type of what kinds of things did you do to become a manga artist? Please tell me. Uh, first of all, I decided to become a manga artist when I was four years old. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. The <laughs> instant I learned that such a job existed in this world, I thought I don't have to work when I grow up. I that's, know exactly where Luffy's character amazing. comes from now. Yeah. Luffy's character comes from his childlike innocence of, I'm going to do the thing. Yep. Like, mm -hmm. it's perfect. Uh, and made the decision. But it was in about the eighth grade that I started drawing seriously. What kinds of things? Doodles and such. Even now, I doodle in my sketch pad as I think of stories. Hmm. Okay, this is a hardcore fan question. But in Messiah Sukihiro's Mizu no Tomodachi, Cap... Kappa Man, Volume 1, page 93, fourth panel. Why is Eichiro Oda written there? Were you working on it as an assistant or something? Whoa, scary. You noticed. Yes, I was an assistant to Mr. Suki, or Mr. Toku, Toku Toku Hiro. Hiro. My history as an assistant manga artist includes work on Shinobuku, or Shino, wow, I can't do this. Shinobu Kaitani's Midori Yama Police Gang, Maisaya Su to Toku Hiro's Tachan, Ruler of the Jungle, and Kappa Man, and Nobuhiro Watsuki's Ruroni Kenshin. Gotcha. I learned many things from those three. Seriously, I respect them both as manga artists and as people. Uh, how many kinds of devil fruit are there, and what kinds are going to show up in the future? As for what kind of devil fruit will show up, I want you to look forward to discovering them in the stories. As for how many kinds there are in all, I've heard a rumor that there are over a hundred and that a certain location is crawling with people who have the powers of the devil fruit. Oh, oh. okay. Curious, right. curious. Hmm. Very interesting. Yes, Kappa Man. Yeah, we get some Kappas in chat for Kappa Man, for sure. Ho, ho, ho. Oda has said before that he wanted to draw a pirate story since he was a kid. Dang. Wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have to work, Omega Lo. <laughs> <laughs> he's well, working harder thing. than most people yeah really well, well but if it's but maybe it's just not work for him yeah per personally i think luffy sounds best as sean connery what what <laughs> ah yes and let's hope they have meat captain shanks <laughs> is this straw hat is my treasure. <laughs> this was given to me by Captain Shanks when I was a boy. Yes, when I was a small lad. Yeah. I found out my treasure was to be a pirate. My name is Luffy, and I'm going to be king of the pirates. King of the pirates. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. Bam! Hey! I'll split you in two. Yeah! <gasps> That's a chakram. It's not just for hypnotizing people. Nami, oh wait, Nami, you creep! Why'd you have to step on my head? Step Thunk on shunk. me, Nami. <gasps> oh, and it just sticks into the back of his head. Yeah. <gasps> wow. I love how I love how Luffy takes stepping on him instantly to be a creep thing and not to wake him up. Right. Because he assumes. That, yeah, the only reason why people step on you is some kind of a uh, sexual way. It's something like that. Luffy, what have you been thinking about with regards to Nami stepping on you? I see this projection for what it truly is. Luffy, you, you, you sly dog. You, you baka hentai. Yeah, baka hentai, exactly. <laughs> All right, then just, <gasps> Nani... <laughs> Oh, 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 oh no, it actually sunk through him. Well, and it's a, and... Because it's a piercing weapon. Or right. Or a slash, a slash. Yeah, yeah, weapon. yeah, so... So oh his, his boingness is more immunity to bludgeoning damage. Right. Not, not piercing or slashing damage. Luffy! What? He's still alive. What lousy timing. Hmm. Or maybe not so lousy. Ugh. That lad? I thought he died when I... Thought he died when he fell off the cliff. <laughs> Impossible. He's still standing. Ugh. Oh boy. Looks like. Uh, Ow! Luffy's back in action. That hurt! 
Fucking some blood, now what? We've got less than five minutes left. That really hurt! It wasn't me, Luffy! <laughs> Your shoulder's bleeding. It's nothing, I'm fine. I've done all I can, I'm, I'm leaving the rest to you. After all, this is one fight we gotta win. <laughs> Nami, there's a lot of treasure on the line. <laughs> Same old... Hmm, that's more like you. Yeah, yeah. Same old Nami. <laughs> hey, the evil butler is here. Three minutes left before I massacre everyone. No! Even Captain Django and Butchie! Can't stop them in only three minutes? Butchie, there's no time to think. You kill the guy with the truss. I'll take the straw hat, Brad. <laughs> oh, oh Kai nice. is here. Yeah. Next page. Clodor, stop! <sighs> Kaya, what are you doing here? Hey, isn't that the girl from the mansion? She's our real target. But then we don't need to sack the village. We just gotta kill the girl, right? What a lovely surprise, Miss Kaya. What brings you here? <gasps> Mary told me everything. Mary? He lived? I thought I had killed him. No, this isn't Clodor. I'm oh. sorry, Usopp. How can you ever forgive me? I was so wrong about you. I just couldn't believe that Clodor was a pirate. It's okay, Kaya. Why'd you come here? You've got to escape. They're out to kill you. But aren't you fighting them? Even though we treated you so horribly, even though you're bleeding all over. Of course. I'm... I'm a brave warrior of the sea. Cador, if you want my fortune, I'll give it to you. Just take it and leave the village alone. Not good enough, Miss Kaya. Yes, I want your fortune. But I also want peace of mind. I spent three years earning the trust of the villagers here. I've grown comfortable. I can even relax. Morning, Miss Clahador. Mr. Clahador? Wow. Only when I have that peace of mind and your wealth will my plan have been accomplished. Thus, the pirate attack on the village and your accidental demise are both quite essential. Kaya, don't run! Er, run! Don't waste your breath on him! He's not the, he's not the man you knew! Click. Oh boy. Oh, she brought a gun. Yep. She brought a gun. A pistol. Leave this village alone! Hmm. You've really grown up in the last few years. Three years. Three years. And I've been at your side for all the changes, haven't I? Even before you lost your parents and became ill, you and I spent a lot of time together. We went sailing together, took trips into town. When you had a fever, I stayed at your bedside day and night. I suffered with you. I laughed with you. I was... I was ever your humble servant. I humored you, Miss Kaya, and all your silly dreams, and I endured it. Oh, all for my today, God. the day I could kill you. <gasps> I. No, no, it's it's a, uh, it's it's. Villain. I, who was once the dread Captain Kuro, bowed and scraped to a spoiled little girl and cater to her every whim, day and night. Can you fathom my humiliation? Oh, Kuro! Here he comes! Here he comes! Usopp! Usopp? That reminds me. I still owe you for hitting me. You hit me with all your might. And BAM! Oh. What was that? Captain Koro is down! If you uh, don't like getting hit, I'll punch you a hundred times more! Nice. Oh, nice. from long range sharpshooter. This is why snipers, my friends, yes. are amazing. Oh my god, Luffy is like an actual melee sniper. Mm -hmm. Yep, he's, he's, <laughs> he's like Star Platinum, but a sniper. Right. 
just perfect, perfect accuracy. Yep. Yeah. Huh. Wow. Wow. That was, that was a way to end it there. <laughs> Honestly, he probably would have eventually inherited it either way. Probably. Yeah, although, probably. although <laughs> he probably didn't want to put up with... No, I think he was his ego made him basically uh -huh. be yep, getting yep, patient. Yep, yeah. yep, yep, he wouldn't want to put up with it any more than he had to. Because it seems like he wants to be done with the pirate's life in general. Right. So he'd just rather just have this go the easy way yep. out. Gooey Engineer with the tier one sub for the 10th month. Hey! Hey, Gooey. Thank you. With the, with the, with the emotes, too. Those are, those are legit. Yeah. Hey. All right. So we have Q&A reader suggestions. Oh, here we go. What should we put in future volumes of One Piece? And the readers here. I have the Luffy doll that came with volume one of the Japanese edition displayed in my room right now. It looks pretty good. So I'd like you to offer more of the same. You could make a Zoro doll for volume three, Nami for volume four, and Usopp for volume five. And I'll be sure to buy each uh, new book to enlarge my collection. How about a fashion show with Luffy and friends, and maybe their enemies too? You could get clothing designs from your readers. What do you think? I'd like to see an advice column called Ask Luffy. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone would absolutely watch that. Useless. But it, Hilarious, no, not but... for not for advice, just yeah, not for, for actual memes, advice. Yes. Yeah. It's like ask caboose, basically. Right. Like, yeah. Uh an animal encyclopedia for the island where Gaimon lives. Oh, oh, that would be awesome. A feature entitled One Piece Dissected. It could have diagrams showing the abilities of Luffy's body or what the inside of a pirate ship looks like. Hmm. Please draw Luffy and the others as cowboys. Oh, yes, definitely. That would be cool. That would be really cool. Especially Zoro. I think it would be good if there was a page for the drawings of Luffy and other characters sent in by the readers. There you go. How a how the characters were created feature, like you did with Axe Hand Morgan in Volume 1. Tell us your early ideas for Luffy ah. and the other characters. And then Oda. These and other ideas have been coming in from readers. Thank you very much. I'll give them a try. For Volume 5, we're adding a new corner called Usopp's Pirate Gallery. Yes. Here's a greeting from our spokesman. Yes, we're planning to show fan art, but this is going to be on a small scale. Oda says that if there is a lot, the selection will be difficult. So only those who have the will to draw great art should take the challenge. Wow. That's, That's awesome. Great. That's amazing. I just love this I, I love uh, this, this, this uh, Picasso, that, uh -huh. you know, look. Oh, yeah. Frenchman art hat, you know, and everything. Like, I feel like I kind of drew the lucky straws as far as like oh, which yes. of the main cast to voice. Usopp, Usopp, Usopp and, is awesome. And, and Zoro, yes. like, yeah. All right, chapter thirty-five: the steep slope. <laughs> Adventures of Buggy's crew, part one. After the battle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's amazing. That's wonderful. All right, all right. Next page. Next page. What was that? That kid, he sent Captain Kuro sailing from all the way over there. Ooh. He broke his glasses. Oh, yeah, shit. Uh -huh. well, that, that oh, yeah. That says it. Now Captain Kuro's really mad. Oh, what'll happen to us? Now. Yeah, I think that was Kuro. <laughs> <laughs> What? Oh. Oh. Huh. Oh. Yes. Oh, yes. Nice. nice. It's, yes. It's pepper, carrot, and onion. Oh, yes. Usopp's pirate crew ready for action. Prepare yourself, you smelly butler. Yeah, smelly butler. You guys, what? Hey, you kids shouldn't be here. They're actually like... Smashing yeah. his face in what with, with, with shovels and stuff revenge revenge you pirates have disturbed the peace of our village take that whack, 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 clum, clum, clum. <laughs> <laughs> And suddenly mugged by kids. <laughs> yeah, just suddenly oh, a great. wild group of kids just beat the <laughs> Wow, now, it looks like they just bruised him a little bit because he's obviously super strong. Yeah. but Are the small fryer battering Captain Coral? That's enough, crew! Stop! What are those little devils thinking? Alright, that ought to teach him. <laughs> oh, oh, I boy. knew it! The captain's been fighting! Why didn't you tell us? You smell like sweat! No, he smells like he's forgotten his faithful crewmen! <laughs> Onion, you're amazing. <laughs> 
I don't care what I smell like. You guys have got to scram. Now. Beat it. Run for it. No, we're with you, Captain. We're gonna fight. Running away would disgrace Usopp's pirate crew. <sighs> oh. And he stands up. Clink. He <laughs> <laughs> you idiots, get out of here. <laughs> huh? He walked right by us. He's basically just calmly walking uh -huh. up towards uh, Luffy, it looks like. Oh, here. and then he just kicks Usopp. Yeah, just Oof. poof. Captain! That smarted a bit. You displayed an unusual ability. Oh. You must have the power of the devil fruit. That's right! I ate the gum gum fruit. I'm a gum gum man. You gads the devil fruit? That's trouble, if there really is such a thing. Aha, I thought he seemed dead. Gum gum man, eh? That stretching arm was no illusion then. But I hit him with my chakram, and he's still walking. How could that be? Ugh. Django. Eh? I'll kill the gum gum man. You just deal with Miss Kaya. Force her to write the will as we planned. Then, kill her. And those three nipping pups, too. Ooh. They're a nuisance. Aye, aye, Captain. Stop. Beyond this point, you shall not ah! <laughs> Well done, Oda, well done. <laughs> Butchie. Meow. Meow. Catapult! Oh, jeez, not that again. Catastrophe! <laughs> God, I hate the voice I came up with for that guy. Oh, man. What? <laughs> he broke the ground! Broke the ground! That was worse than last time. <laughs> Doesn't know his own strength. <laughs> wow! What is that guy? <sighs> Swish! Bam! And nice. he's got him up against the wall. You've already lost to me once, so stop pestering me! <laughs> wow, I'm too dizzy to stand up. I gotta stop that guy. Uh-oh. Usopp's pirates! Hi, Captain! <laughs> We're warning you. We mean business. We won't run off when our captain needs us. We'll make you pay for hurting the captain. Oh, oh his command is to protect Miss Kaya. Usopp. I'm entrusting you men with the most important job of all. Get Kaya away from here safely. Don't let me down, men. That's an order from your captain. Aye, aye! Aye, Captain! Yeah! Fools! You can't escape me. He's got a quick tongue, that Usopp. He gave the boys and Kaya an honorable reason to run. Hurry, Miss- Oh, yeah, hurry, Miss Kaya! That's all of us, I guess. Once we reach the trees, we're in our own backyard! I won't let you escape. Fly, lethal stars! Oof! <laughs> <laughs> he fired his slingshot. slingshot from the ground. <laughs> That's what you get. Lil Bilge Rat. Owie. Django, get up and follow them. Uh, aye, aye. This way, Kaya. Who's this? Oh, this, th this is Kuro. Kuro. It's useless. I, more than anyone, know how frail that girl's body is. They'll never escape, Django. Run for help if you wish. But, you'll have to get up this slope first. Curses. The tables are turned. Usopp! Leave, Leave this to us. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, let's Leave do this. It. Wait, hold on. Three, two, one. Leave, Leave it, it to us. us. All right, all right. There cool. we go. There we go. Cool. Cool. Wow. 
that escalated really quickly. Yeah. Like we went from all right, all right, we're you know we're we're planning things out, we're dealing with our little our little scheme. The D and D party does a dumb, and they basically plan this elaborate trap on the wrong beach, which mm-hmm. is such a funny yep. thing to think of. Like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Their plan. Yeah. No, it's mm-hmm. not gonna go. Uh, you know, it's not gonna go well. But it yep. creates some funny story moments, and it's an opportunity Ugh. for Zoro to showcase his uh, his patience, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> you shall not pass. Zoro could probably kill a fire demon. Oh! Luffy would eat the ring. <laughs> <laughs> that, that might work, actually. No, no, no. He'd just be like, we need to get this into Mount Doom? Okay. Gom, gom! And he yeah. just chucks it. And they're like, that's never gonna work. And it just, ping! It'd basically be Boromir's catapult. Yeah. Like, oh my God, Luffy like, is Boromir's catapult. Does anyone get that reference? Like, if, does if anyone get, get that old, reference? Old, old video, old school meme. This maybe, is some, maybe it's actually on YouTube still. Crispy, I don't know, but like crispy old school burnt Lord of the Rings meme yeah. right there. Does anyone remember Boromir's catapult? Luffy is Boromir's catapult. Oh boy, forget the eagles. Oh yeah, I know that meme. Oh okay. <laughs> oh my God. Pepperidge Farm remembers. Boromir's <laughs> catapult. That buggy cover page was canon, by the way. Yes. Oh, sweet. I love it. So buggy will come back eventually. Sweet. Where and, was that? Yeah, I think that was the second to last chapter, or it was the uh, last next chapter. one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chibi buggy, it. like I love it. Trying to escape from Big Fish on his raft and yeah. stuff. Oh, that's that's, that's wonderful. Perfect. That's I wonderful. love it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Salo goes to the 1000 bits. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, the title page of chapter 35 officially actually starts the second tradition I told you about cover stories. Basically, on each cover's chapter cover, Oda will tell another story that enlarges and interconnects the world. This first story will follow Buggy. Awesome. What the heck? Cool. That's awesome. Wait, so is it something where like every cover after this will add to the story? Yeah, well and will it be adding to Buggy's story or like little bits that tell like other mini stories? Probably, probably I think it's Buggy's a bunch story. of mini stories actually. Oh yeah. Yeah. Morodell with the one hundred bits. A little bit of trivia. If you haven't noticed, Captain Crow's habit of checking his glasses with his palms comes from his pirating days as he is used to having those cat gloves with the claw, so he uses his palms to avoid cutting his face. I'm pretty sure they go over this in the anime as an added bonus, but the manga never touched it. Yes, no, they no, did. They, they, yeah, they, they mentioned just, it. They literally yeah. just touched it. That's yep. why... They didn't They didn't say that it's specifically because he used to have these gloves or whatever, you know. Right. But, but it's yeah. pretty much explained yeah, yeah. by the uh, visual right, medium. Right, or, no, right, uh, right there, uh, next page. Yeah, yeah, literally explained it right there. Um, but, I, oh, wow, I turned to avoid, perfect page. Yeah, yeah. To avoid scratching his face with his cat claws, he pushes his glasses up his nose like that. It's proof yeah. that he doesn't hasn't forgotten how to kill. Yep. But the idea that these are gloves. Right. Like, this isn't a power that he summons up. He wears these, basically. Yep. And because of how strong he is, all he needs is his fingers to touch the right. blade part there, and he has that much mm-hmm. you know, grip strength to be yep. able to give them you know, the danger of what it would mean there. Otherwise, he kind of looks kind of silly. Like, Kuro's, like, claw hand things. Maybe a bit too extra. A little bit too extra. He feels more like a Keikaku Dori, Gendo Akari kind of villain, where all he does, basically, is he's just strong. Like, he doesn't need any kind of weapon or what have you. Maybe. He just walks up and just squeezes the life out of you or something. Mm -hmm. I just feel like that would be a little bit more terrifying. Yeah. Don't read the volume preview. Oh, we don't do that. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, every cover that Dude, has a subtitle like the buggy one did. Gotcha. Okay. Sometimes it's cover stories. Sometimes it's drawing of characters hanging out with animals to separate the cover stories. Okay. okay. Cool. Yeah, because some of them are basically just alternate universe things of the, uh, the main cast. Uh. Like the whole King Kong thing. You know, stuff like that. Do you think Luffy would go for a dive and just find a Silmaril or talk Jutsu, Thenor, and Morgoth into hand-holding peace? <laughs> that is an excellent question. I don't know. I, I don't know how good uh, Luffy is at Takano Jutsu yet. Yeah. Though. He's only I mean, used it like once, kind of. And it was a and, pretty it was a pretty mild version. Right. I feel like he's not the most like like I think he'd be more of a person to dive in somewhere to find a Silmaril. Because the yeah. thing is, is that like uh 
he's not very smart, and I feel right. like that would be something that would kind of bleed into his talk no jutsu. Sure. Sailor goes to the 100 bits. Basically, it's a one page of the story per chapter. So you'll have pages of the same story for a dozen or so chapters. Gotcha. Oh, like a side story running in parallel with the main story. And they often are concurrent time-wise in lore as well. So cool. you will get only a page to add uh, some context as to where the story mm -hmm. is currently. So it'll be able to jump pretty far ahead like because it. they're you know adding it in with every chapter. That's kind of fun. Mm-hmm. There's something interesting that I think is worth thinking on. The lanky guy who hasn't fought in three years is still... Or this... Yeah, this lanky guy who hasn't fought in three years is still capable of superhuman speed. In a world with devil fruits, not having powers doesn't make you not a monster. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. that's kind of the cool thing with, I would say, typical shonen is that you assume everyone has something badass about them. Right, exactly. Everyone who's even just a random side character has their badass moments, yep. basically. Because it's just rule of cool. Let's have some fun with it. Right. A bit off topic, but in future volumes, when we get to the real, real hard-hitting stuff, feel free to omit the wacky cling-clang sound effects if you want, since it might interrupt the mood. Just a suggestion. Oh, ah, okay, good Okay, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll consider removing that then, yeah. How long until we get a JoJo One Piece crossover? Uh, Excellent question. Tiki Surfer Dude, thank you so much for the follow. Yeah, thank you. The random covers with animals and are <laughs> submissions by fans. Some color spreads are too. Okay, gotcha. I mean, Zoro can talk with a sword in his mouth. That's a superpower on its own. Ha! <laughs> yes. Like, like, what would be the equivalent thing here? Let me, like, grab a, like a water bottle. Oh, I saw that, that uh, Oda drawing of Jotaro. Or no, yeah. we don't really have a sword here. That's not really a thing. Okay. Not near here, anyways. Not near here, yes. We have a family katana, though, obviously. Oh, of course. Yeah, yes, no. of course. More like a $20 replica I, I mean, got on Amazon or yeah, something. Yeah, for sure. Simon Butchie <laughs> is so badass, Pog Jam. Yeah, I mean, anytime you have a twin group of, you know, characters that kind of move and groove and stuff like that, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's pretty awesome. Raw 05 at the 1500 bits. Wow, thank you so much. Couldn't get as much this time, but uh, we'll make up soon. Oh, well, thank, thank you. you. No, appreciate yeah. it. That means a lot. Lots of love. Thanks for sticking with One Piece so far. It's a bit of a drag in the beginning, but it gets much better. Cheers. See you guys next week. Is it just me, or your voices for One Piece are getting better? Oh, oh thank you. Oh, I, I would oh, hope so. Thank you. I did go back and I look at, at what I did for um for uh, Usopp in the beginning of the previous string to kind of remind myself of it. But <laughs> Breakos, you guys don't have to pretend everyone hates the Cat Brothers. No, I I find them I find them silly. I, I find them silly for sure. I uh um. I hope they don't become, like, recurring characters that much. For sure. Yeah, literally everyone hates them. Random info, Berserk chapter this month. Hey, oh. Pog, that's pretty awesome. What do you think of the character designs so far? I think all the character designs have been pretty consistent with regards yeah. to um, well, and, the and main the uh, cast and stuff like that. Like, they they do a pretty good job of drawing them. Uh, Oda does a pretty good job of drawing them so that they, they look like... You know, they look good. I don't see any compromise really on a page to page basis. But I, I love the I love the general character designs of the characters, even if it's right. things like the you know, the, the the cat twins, because it's still something that instills this sense of wonder and adventure. You know, of basically that we don't know what we're going <sighs> to get um from from this story, because this world yeah. is expansive, right? You know, and, and Oh I, my god. Row five with 1500 bits again! Oh my god! Thank you so oh much! Oh my god! Never mind, got some more. Enjoy! Thank oh, you. Oh, love you. Thank you so much. That's so <laughs> nice. What the heck? Peps, Kuro wears poop. Why does your arc villain wear poop? I think, I think you in know? some ways, you, you gotta have a little fun. Like, you gotta have a little fun. I think in a lot of anime, maybe they take a little bit too much edge into their characters, you know? And One Piece is basically like, edge is overrated. Yeah. Let's have fun here. Let's have let's have clowns and cat pirates yeah. and, and stuff. And, yeah, and, and animal and, tamers that ride right. lions and, and stuff. And super cool villains that wear poop on their shirt. Exactly. Like, you know, have the poop as a exactly. on, their, on their coat. Yeah, live a yeah. little. Mm-hmm. 
every time I come to manga nights, it's like a, no, I've got the bigger manga size with bits, manga S. Um, <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, hey, hey. You know what, guys? You know what, guys? Like, I am totally fine for people to, uh, you know, continue doing huh. that. Ah, they will. My inner Nami coming out here. Yeah. <laughs> One million bitties? Berries? Bits? Bitties? I don't know. We should have a, like, berries cheer emote for uh, ah. something like that. SOS Bros Berries or something. Yeah. Something. They wear poop because he's Caleb shopping for clothes at the soup exactly. store. Exactly. Yare, yep. yare, That's when you, you, you don't want to get clothes at the soup store. It won't go well. You'll, you'll this get is what, with poop this is what Luffy looks like when you hurt my friends. <sighs> yeah. That's about all I'm going to do with that. Thank you. Yeah, you're sure. welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> and it shall continue. Don't worry. Oh, 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 okay. Well, thank you. In the future, is it possible for you to have volumes? Whoa, 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 what, what? Is it possible for you to have the volumes you have already read nearby in case you need to look back at specific details like foreshadowings and such? Because there already are. Uh, I would let's say not no, do that because, because that is not sustainable. That is absolutely not sustainable. We're gonna have to look back fifty volumes and have what like a bookshelf yeah, like, right hold here. Hold on, let's just okay. <laughs> treasure chest, open it up. All right, which volume? This one. Okay. <laughs> like these were sent to oh. us in three different boxes y'all like three boxen of manga three yeah. boxen of manga exactly yeah. for sure mm -hmm. uh super smexy santa altar with the 100 bits by the way the luffy sean connery thing is a reference to the one piece of bridge series none piece by purple eyes ftw oh that's right that is Wait. a thing <laughs> in that series luffy is a 40 year old scottish alcoholic man who looks young because he's made of rubber Wow. As a fellow Scotsman, I find it extremely wow. funny. Oh, that's the Sean Connery thing. Oh, gotcha. and... Uh, oh, Sailor goes with the 250 bits. Thank you so much. Last one. One thing that's spelled out for the first time in this volume is Luffy's reason for fighting for someone. Not out of pity, but because he respects people fighting for what they care about. Mm. But remember, the Major, Kobe, the Dog, good night. All right, have a good night, Sailor Ghosts. Thank you for the yeah, bits. thank you. Yeah, okay. That's interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Kayo with the follow. Thank you so much. Yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What do you mean you can't remember what happened in volume three at volume 84? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, hey, Seven to Sanity Bros. I know this is a One Piece stream, but I'd love it if you would read, watch Kimetsu no Yaiba. It's a great series, and I know you guys will love it. That's the Demon Slayer thing. Yeah, we put it on a poll recently. It didn't win, but it did pretty well. So we've got it on our list. Don't worry. Jacob should wear a bandana and haramaki to match. Ah, that would actually be pretty good. I think we we might even be able to make that work. Like, I don't I mean, think we I don't think we have anything like that. But I think we have bandanas. Maybe. Although, although here's the thing. I don't want to force you because a bandana is just going to make it extra hot for you. Uh -huh. So that's another yep. good thing to bring up there. Oh my God, Rao Five with the fifteen hundred bits. Oh my God. Maybe get a better Luffy's hat? This is the last one, I promise. <laughs> I mean, don't don't be a stranger, but you thank you. About? Thank that's, you so much for a, the bits. Appreciate that's, that's it. A, that's, a, that's a perfect Luffy hat. See, see, this is the thing, y'all. This is the thing. We love it when you guys send us stuff, especially, like, letters or stuff like that. But, like, the thing that's unfortunate about getting us gifts that are hat-based is you see this hole. You see this hole. Now, this that's... hole is like a small ocean. But my head is bigger yeah. than Zawardo. Like, right. it is, like, that's actually a very this is a good big sized hat. Size. That's a big hat. Right. The thing is. We have thick daddy heads. Like, like our heads are like humongous. On swollen. Both, on both sides of the family, right? Our, our dad, also very yes. big head. Yes. Our grandpa on our mom's side, his head was so big mm -hmm. that when he was getting, like, like checked up for, like, medical stuff or whatever, the the, the basically the people at the hospital message back to the up uh, to the people that took the measurements and they were like sorry this can't be right this can't be right please remeasure because there's no way someone could have a head this big right um so uh yeah yeah that's um uh, yeah that's uh yeah that's 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 the problem for sure yeah you mean the bandana is gonna make jacob extra hot <laughs> 
Go oh for boy. full realism, stab the hat with three knives, step on it, and then patch it up. I mean, that actually might work, because then what we could do is we could cut some holes in here, and that would give it more room to stretch, you know? I mean, I think you'd have to do it here, and yeah, then there's the, the, the ribbon thing stuff. that goes around it, but, you know. That. But, hey, it's a pretty cool hat. That's right. There you go. Yep. Grandma Caleb. You see this hole? My head is bigger. Our heads are big. Thick daddy. Oh, my. <laughs> Are they bragging about head size? No, it's a problem. No, no, it's we that, can't wear hats. Yeah, like nothing fits. Like, it's like, so dumb. We we love it when you send us stuff, and and with hats we will try. We will we try. We will sincerely try. We will. But it's actually a problem. But it's not gonna work. Yeah. Like, like yeah, exactly. I can't remember the last time I actually was able to wear a hat. Like yeah. it. Th 323 yeah. Starlight with the 100 bits. I can't wait for you guys to get deeper into the manga. Oda single-handedly managed to create one of the largest, most expansive worlds that makes Lord of the Rings, Witcher, Game of Thrones, Naruto, and countless other look small by comparison. Oda wow. is a master of world building, practically a god. Wow. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm excited. Super Smexy Santa Alter mm -hmm. with the 100 bits. So far, what do you think of the characters? Namely, Usopp, but all of the... But also, also the, the other three. Maybe your favorite so far. Usopp hands down, with with Zoro being yeah. a close second. Yeah, Usopp's or, pretty fantastic. Yeah. I still think that um, the 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 arc we're in is an Usopp focused arc, so he's getting that extra focus there. Sure. But the one that still is my my like favorite in terms of like not what we've seen, but what I'm like most excited for more of is Shanks. Captain Shanks, like oh sure, yeah. well okay, because okay. he started Luffy's but, whole well, okay. treasure journey and Fine, everything like that. But, but he's uh, he's Luffy's poor. he's Luffy's not dad, you know? Yeah, like, no, I get it, I get it, yeah. right? But Usopp is pretty amazing, yeah. Yeah. By the way, did we rate Usopp on the rate your wife who's husbandos thing? I, think I know, we, I know, I think I we rated, rated him kind of low. I think we rated him kind of low, but I I want to know because somehow I randomly gave Shanks like a five out of five. Mm -hmm. Oh, we did not. Oh, okay, cool. Gotcha. This is Jing all over again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh my gosh, Go and with the 500 bits. Thank you so much. Real question is none piece when. Oh, oh my god. boy. How extensive of an abridged is it? Because that's, we really do love well, and, abridges. And, and Purple Eyes WTF, that's the, that's the Code Geass that's the one. Code Mint. Code Mint, yes. Which, yes, Code Mint is we so We are fans fun. of Code Mint. Oh, yeah. So... Oh man, Shanks is the hook. It's almost unfair. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Why does Zoro want to make sweet sugary love to Aunt Jemima? What? <laughs> um, <laughs> you're such a troll. It's hilarious. <laughs> Who's MVP of this volume between Usopp, his crew, and Django? Okay, okay. okay. Onion, That's actually Onion, tough. Or, or his crew altogether, with Onion being, of course, the best of them. Give Usopp a pretty good run for his money. Usopp. Yeah. <laughs> Uthop, we're going to handle this for you. The fact We've that never they go, abandoned our captain. The fact that they go and beat on Captain Kuro. Like, like that was just, oh, man, that was great. That was so great. Uh, oh, he's not a troll. That's legit a quote. Oh, from the abridged. Oh, oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> Speaking about the Rate Your Husbandos videos, don't look back on it because some of the One Piece submissions were pretty heavy spoilers especially name wise oh, oh and we've forgotten all about yeah that. okay like, okay that's good okay uh i think only you're... 10 episodes oh wow you're almost caught up to where the abridged series leaves off oh that's so sad gotcha the idea that it's that short like that... yeah oh. bridges usually die out from just lack of interest in keeping going because mm -hmm. it's hard to, it's it's really it's hard, hard to deal work. with youtube copyright and then also mm -hmm. it's 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 hard work as well yeah Thing is, Oda is a troll. He makes wacky, weird characters on purpose, kind of like Araki making everything oh, yeah. bizarre. Totally. Oh, yeah. Well, it's more fun that way for him. Mm -hmm. I feel bad for the editor. <laughs> sure. Totally. How long do you guys think it will be until they get to the grand line? What conflicts do you predict between now and then? Feel free to stab in the dark. Um, the grand line. In some ways, I feel like there has to be stuff bef beyond the Grand Line, so I feel like it could right. be soon. I'm, I'm guessing... I'm, I'm guessing about 15 volumes. I'm guessing around volume 10. Oh, dang, so pretty soon. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. I feel like it's got to be longer than that, because I feel like just getting to there, there's probably going to be encounters with 
you know, other big name pirates or Marines or yeah. what have you. Yeah, well, and, and I don't know if it's just going to be the four of them or if they'll add more characters to the crew, you know? Sure. Because they could definitely do that. And if they have one arc per character that they're introducing, then yeah, then maybe it's, you know, more like 15 or something. Especially but, because they don't really have a ship. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> they need to give Nami some money, and hopefully if she's not too stingy, hey! they can actually get a ship. Nami um, the Investor. Well, see, she, I, I, I see Nami as being almost like Vex from... Like, yes, me too, me too, me too! The idea the one that's she's the one who would want to handle all the money, and she would be the best at handling right. the money, but at the same time, she'd be so stingy that she wouldn't ever really want to spend it, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Nami's spending money. Oh, yeah. like, Ooh, what are your thoughts on Kuro as a character and his dynamic with Kaya? I love it. Yeah, I absolutely love it. Like it's the first I, of perfect amount of arrogance and pettiness. Yes, and I and I loved Kuro as a character in the dynamic with Kaya before he be, became a villain. So, yes, you know. So the fact that, that okay, he's a villain too. It's like well, great. Yeah, they're 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 having the villain be someone that has a great foundation within the story. So, yeah, yeah. I I think with the devil fruit theories and stuff like that, I'm holding it off until I understand more of what devil fruit really is. Because here's the thing, I don't really have too much like really excitement about the whole devil fruit concept because it's basically just a oh you eat this you get a power up that's kind of random and you can't swim okay like that thing needs it needs more if he's a world building god that's where a lot of the world building needs to be and in focused into because it feels like that's like like a power system but if it's the power system it needs to be more fleshed out but the fact Which that it makes the world sense itself that it is be. so whimsical they don't have to have it just be devil fruits they could have it be all kinds of other yeah, things they have because, all kinds of because things, you know yeah. you have people like kuro who doesn't as far as we know have any powers yep but you know he's still he basically yeah. uses the equivalent of like you know zoldic techniques that you know right that Killua used. And stuff. Um, brrr, you guys try to enter the mind of Oda as he has some insanely creative and whimsical ideas and come up with a unique devil fruit power. Okay, so let's come up with something we've never seen before. Okay. Um, something really wacky. And so, something general that would then allow you to do a bunch of different things. Well, I think the main thing that's been consistent so far is that the devil fruit powers change the body right. of the user in some way. And that's why they also negatively affect your ability to swim. Sure. So those are both physical things there. So, no, I'm not going to meme and say magnets. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to say that if there was a... If there was a devil fruit that gave someone the ability basically to... I'm going to go really stupid, overpowered, and then, like, really specific. I'm going to combine the hand from JoJo's and basically a form of teleporting and, like, bilocation, okay? Okay. So I'm basically going to have it be a thing where they bisect space by... They, they, they basically consume space by eating it. All right. And then within that, they basically become a distended head that actually goes out and then is able to um, uh, spit out that space at like a concentrated blast at something. And then they can return their head back to their original spot whenever they uh, want to. Huh. That's about as stupid and random as I could get. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. Um... I have no idea. Like, yeah. like, I, like I, I have some ideas, but they're all very similar to stuff that we've already seen. Like, you know, if you have someone that, like, the devil fruit turns them into, like, a gas or something like that, you know, or, or I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't yeah, know. I feel like you guys would be much better discussing devil fruits later on. You just haven't seen yeah. them so far. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Pretty much. Exactly. Yeah, everyone's just like, wait, what? <laughs> huh, Nani? <laughs> Visible confusion. <laughs> <laughs> Compound interest. That is the devil fruit. Yes, that, that yes. would be that would be amazing. That's, that's the devil fruit that Nami gets, and that's oh why my she's God. just like get Nami the money with and the never compound spend it. Interest. Never spend it. Mm, nope, nope. Yeah, we'll be she's sitting like, on a beach, earning twenty percent. She's like yeah. iron passives on top of my 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 passives. Like, I just oh. feel like Nami just looking and saying passive income, <laughs> like. <laughs> Like, 
<laughs> like the idea that yes yes chapter seven bankruptcy yeah. and she's like and now your treasure are belong to me all your treasures are belong to yeah. me oh what do you my think about God. pearl wanting peace of mind not just money is that a jojo's reference um uh but yeah i mean it's great and it, it totally makes sense too because of because of the fact that you know for a great pirate like himself to stoop so low and and you know obey the whims of of this you know petulant spoiled brat indeed, you know indeed yeah <sighs> like you you would want a full hundred percent victory you know yeah armor armor fruit for jacob I, that was literally the first thing i thought of and i was like nope i can't It'd say be that a visual reminder as to why you can't swim in yeah, exactly because it, it well. weighs you down and you sink it's to some the stupid heavy armor yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. uh-huh that would be amazing yep uh i kind of am creeped out at how close some of your voices are to the abridged well oh, really? i think in some ways when you think up an abridged voice you kind of look at the character and you go, if I gave them a stupid voice, but it fit for their character design, what would it be? I feel like that's kind of what it is when you're just choosing a voice based on character design. Because mm -hmm. our voices are going to sound stupid 50% of the time, no matter what. Sniper, sniper fruit. Sniper, sniper fruit. Oh. Okay. So it's going to be like, um, what's his name in Plot the Phantom Troop? The big head fruit. No, what's that guy's name in Phantom Troop? Uvo Geen. You can Wait. basically spit out like your teeth, and they're bullets. Okay, that'd be a good villain power. Like, think about it. You have like bone matter that you like distend out, and it's also like the teeth guy from uh, Moonfish from My Hero Academia, and you just poof, poof, and you just insta kill people. Like, <laughs> you just expectorating teeth at people. That would be. Oh, that would be creepy. That would be or so then bullets, creepy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just gross. <laughs> yeah, spider, yeah. spider fruit for Caleb. I just no, 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 no. I mean, we already have had tentacle powers, y'all. Like every anime multiple appendages thing is basically yeah, like, just tentacle like, tentacle powers. Uh, you know, Luffy is tentacle powers. Sure, Buggy the Clown tentacle, tentacle powers. powers. You know, it's all tentacles. That's we the need thing. to make a T-shirt, Jacob. That's just tentacle powers and the back they're always op like there's something like that because like and then another one that's like tentacle powers they're always what you know, like you know it's always tentacles or something like that <laughs> so many questions people would have yeah no one not a soul sos tentacle powers are OP. <laughs> guys once you accept the truth that tentacle powers are op and you go rewatch your favorite anime you won't be able to unsee it. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's everywhere. Oh, yeah. It's everywhere. Every time there's an anime character that has, like, the like the, the, the steel wires or whatever that, mm -hmm. like, trap people and cut people up or whatever, yep. tentacle powers, right? Mm -hmm. You know? Like, yep. yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. We know. We've seen hentai. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Surprise you remember Moonfish's name. I, I remember really random facts just for whatever reason. I think reason. the reason you remember that, correct me if I'm wrong, uh -huh. I'm just spitballing here. Uh -huh. Gollum. Uh, no. The teeth in Moonfish, you know? I, no. No? Okay. No. All right. No. It's a juicy sweet. Um, yeah. yeah. I, I thought he was probably the only villain in the Vanguard Action Squad that, like, genuinely scared me. Yeah. I was like, what the actual... Oh, uh, you know, just oh, like <laughs> Finor versus Elf who wanted to be a dentist versus Usopp. Who will win? <laughs> Who's the smartest? <laughs> well, I love how I know who that's from. I don't even have to oh, find yeah, it yeah. in the chat there. What the heck? Wow. By the way, did Jacob read Emergence yet? Not yet. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Isn't telekinesis the ultimate tentacle? Well, it basically, is. well, and most tentacles are just a, or most tentacles are just visual telekinesis. Right, exactly. that's all it is. Yep, mm -hmm. because this is all drawn originally. If you just show the things moving, it's that's... hard to show that they're moving. Exactly. So they basically show some kind of appendage yep. thing coming out and moving them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tentacle powers are OP. What about Hermit Purple? Super OP. It's tentacle powers with clairvoyance. Yeah. Yeah. What is it OP uh -huh. about that? <laughs> or Elf and Lead. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. uh, right, that's the crazy psychic girl yeah, with yeah. the thing on the, her face. and Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. The, the well, really bloody one first episode. episode. That's really the only part the, I've the seen. The escape sequence or yeah, whatever. That's, yeah, that's all I've seen, basically, because mm -hmm. it's a, a legendary sequence. Yep. Um, yeah. 
All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. This was a lot of fun. We'll be catching you all on the next week's One Piece stream. But there are also going to be other streams where we'll hang out here and do a couple things. Um, I'm thinking... I'm thinking... And this might be just for fun. This might be just for fun. <laughs> but I might be continuing uh, this stream in about 30 minutes. And I'm just going to play a game that I've been wanting to go and catch up on. But if any of you want to hang out a little bit longer, uh -huh. I'll be back on in about 30 minutes, probably about 6 p.m. Pacific time. Will it involve tentacle powers? No, it will involve children's card games and me being yeah. a third-rate duelist with fourth-rate decks. If that you know what trusts I'm in the heart of the cards. <laughs> yeah, but Gooey. The thing is, Gooey's right, yeah. But the it's thing Hearthstone, is, isn't it? <laughs> in that case, isn't it tentacle powers because you have the, the hero and then you have the cards that you put out that do things for you. That's kind of tentacles. Hey, it's, it's kind I mean, of true. Yeah, there's a new expansion of Hearthstone, so I want to check it out. And so I'll, I'll stream for a couple hours and what have you. But, uh, yeah. Gwent? <laughs> Wait, Jacob still needs to tell us about Battle Lines. Oh, yeah, That's don't worry. True. We're going to end the stream here, but be sure to leave a follow if you want to stay up to date mm -hmm. on all our other streams. We stream at 3 p.m. Pacific time, Monday, yeah. Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Jacob, tell them about Thursday, though. We're so gonna do Thursday, fun oh, boy, thing. oh, boy, it's something new. So Dota is, is done with for streams. So this week, this Thursday, mm -hmm. 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we've got the Stanley Parable. I'm mm -hmm. going to be playing that. Yeah. I have no idea what to expect. Uh huh. But it'll be interesting. And I'm going to hear secondhand accounts of stories of yep. what, what the whole experience was mm -hmm. like. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yes, Battle Lines, it's on Amazon. Link is in the description of all our most recent videos. Great sci fi novel. Go check it out. Leave yeah. a review. Let people know what you think. Yeah. And on Friday, we've got me playing The Witcher 3, finishing up the Blood and mm -hmm. Wine DLC. And on Monday, uh, we've got our podcast where we talk anime, stories, all kinds of wacky fun stuff. So, uh, yeah, be sure to check that all stuff out. If you're a new subscriber, be sure to get into our private Discord via the subscriber yes. room. There is an invite there. You'll be able to get in. And then once you link your Discord and Twitch accounts, you'll get a Twitch subscriber role, which is pretty cool. Mm. So, uh, yeah, check us out there and uh, and hang out and ask questions or what yep. have you. And then but we're yeah. back to the podcast on Mondays. And yeah, then exactly. Next volume of One Piece. Yeah, so if you uh, want to check us out at any of those uh, places, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next, next time. time. But yes, yes. So yes. this uh, this uh, this had a couple twists and turns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, one of the things that I I really loved about this volume in particular, mm. in particular, yes, was yes. Onion. Because let's face it. Yes. Yes. That that, that adorable little boy. <laughs> He knew the so best way courage. to come up with a plan. That's right. That's right. You know who else is really good at coming up with plans? Soul in battle lines. Uh, well, okay. Yeah. Okay. Sure. But you could also...